Here we go, just firing things up here now. Welcome to the game. I am going to be playing some Minecraft today on my favorite local Minecraft server. It's known as the Elation Station. It was advertised on r slash Nova Scotia a while back. It has a great community of friendly, helpful people who make a lot of really cool stuff. And it's got a good selection of really good quality of life mods and general improvements. So we're just going to start things right off in my Minecraft shaft. Hello there, Leo. Hello there, the Tedmeister88 as well. Good to see you both in the chat. So without further ado, I am just going to run around in my shack a little bit. This is me. This is my uh, current favorite Minecraft skin. Used to use an, eight, an old school style Mario one, but uh, I'm a real fan of this. And this is my ridiculous gear. So, again, we've got some mods on the server that allow for this sort of thing, including, you know, otherwise conflicting enchantments on gear. Makes everybody a little bit over overpowered, but sometimes that can be kind of fun, especially where we don't really PvP each other much. So, a little tour of my home area, first of all. And, of course, it's night... Ah... Let me just, uh, of course, speed boost makes it hard to land on that. There we go. Do a little night skip. Now, I'm going to go upstairs and show you it from the ins outside in, and then I'm going to go to the mainland, where there's a lot of cool people and a lot of cool stuff. So this is my monument to the Power Rangers. It grants every single buff. Oh, yeah, that is enormous chance chat size. I am going to quick fix that. Give me a moment here. I uh, most definitely misjudged that one. Chat box, stream lab. Yeah, that's that's absolutely on the and uh, didn't really test it first, so I am going to cut that down to half right off the gate. Save the settings. I'll need somebody to type in chat, see if she pops up a bit better now. And then I can always tinker with that a little bit more. <laughs> Meanwhile, ah, there we go. There's a nice woohoo and a refusal. Excellent, excellent. Let's see how she comes up on the thing. Okay, okay. Could probably be a little bigger, but is that nice and legible for you folks? All right, perfect. I'll fine-tune it a little more later, but I think this is a pretty good start. So yeah, this is where I have set up shop on this server. I was invited over here by a nice helpful person who helped me get my start, and then promptly stopped playing the game. So they live over here. These are their sheep. This is their shack. Uh, the, these are their adorable axolotls. So they've got a pretty cool spot. They were very nice and helpful in helping me get my start and saying, hey, you can come move in next to us. Since then, though, I've kind of made a good chunk of this place my own. As mentioned before, this is my Power Rangers monument. This is my little bit of a farm, including... Ah, yes. Look at my llamas, which I have taken from the Wandering Trader. My uh, food supply... My other assorted crops for making burgers. Some, a slime fun cookery thing. I'll get into a little bit more about that in a bit. These are my bees. My pumpkins. More of my bees. And this is where I grow my netherite and my diamond crops. And yeah, you're hearing the music that automatically kicked in. We've got it set up so that, uh, let me just close that behind me so nobody wanders out. That is a bit loud, though. But we've got it set up so if you put a chest on... I'm, I'm going to walk away from it and tell you this, because I don't know about you, but I can't hear me talk. So temporarily... Temporarily turn that down a little bit. So we've got it set up on this server. So if you put a chest on top of a jukebox, put a button on the jukebox, and shove your records in there, it'll play them on shuffle. Yeah, I had to turn the music down a bit. 
So I can turn that down further if you need me to. Let me know in the chat. It's, uh... I forget how loud that is because I don't spend a lot of time in there. So yeah, these are where I store all my stuff, smelt all my stuff. Uh, all kinds of goodies here. This is Timothy. This is my golem pal. I was exploring way out somewhere, came across a pillager tower that had not been visited by anyone else on the server yet, busted a golem out of the chat. We fought side by side, cleared the tower. I couldn't just leave him there. I couldn't just leave him there to eventually die to the ever respawning pillagers. So I put a leash on him, I hopped on my flying broom, and I just gradually flew across three quarters of the map. It took me a good half hour to get him home. Now, Timothy lives here. These, I've also got a pet chicken. My armor display, which uh, I can't remember why I took those off. And then we get into the real fun, the slime fun, if you will. This is my slime fun room. Now, slime fun is, it's a mod. It's complex enough that by the time you fully understand slime fun, you basically have a PhD in slime fun. So there's all kinds of things, like this is an enhanced crafting table, you put stuff in the dispenser, you activate the crafting table, it outputs goodies. I've got a workbench, I've got a panning machine, you can take ores and get different materials out of them. A lot, three quarters of this is just getting materials to make into the last bit of this. But you can do some pretty cool stuff with slime fun. For instance, I've got talismans that give me buffs, including a run speed buff. Oh, hey, he got out of the boat. Did I do that? Whoops. Okay. I guess he lives and works here now. Yep. Lost my train of thought there for a moment. <laughs> so uh, anyway, with Slime Fun, you can make a lot of cool stuff. One of the really cool things that you can make are these talismans. Now, there's a regular version that you have to have it in your inventory to get the benefit. And then there's the Ender Infused Talisman, where as long as it's in your Ender Chest, you're getting that benefit. So, you know, you get lots of goodies. You get uh, chance of doubling XP, chance of doubling drops, chance of getting an extra enchantment when you're enchanting, and that comes in handy. A nice chance of doubling any ores you mine, also very handy. A speed buff, which I've gotten so used to the speed buff from this that regular Minecraft speed just feels so slow. It, it actually bugs me. Then we've got the reflection of projectiles. That's a nice 60% chance of reflecting. We have got a 75% chance to take fall damage, which, I mean, to be real, fall damage is not a big deal on this server once you get set up. I hear fireworks. Why, are, why am I hearing fireworks? The, uh, I'm guessing somebody who knows where I live and has found their way to my, uh, my modest shack. Huh. So yeah, this is, this is my modest shack. I have a bunch of diamond ores from running strip mining machines. Another thing that Slime Front brings to the table. Ah, yes, I think people would probably really enjoy an Islander in the midst. I mean, we have got a pretty welcoming community. As long as you're not a jerk to people, that's basically all you need. Just, you know, come along, have fun. I am going to quick check with the folks to see if they're okay with me dropping the address in the chat here on stream for you. Give me a moment. And my bees are shoving me around. Alright, I have put the request on. In the process, I've somehow activated my magic wand. Which is a separate plugin. Does some pretty cool stuff. So I've got two wands. I've got a combat-centric wand, and I've got a more utility wand. Oh, hi! So, perfect opportunity to show off this excellent wand. Wait, I have to... Oh, right, it's a, it's a right click. It's been a while. So this makes ice. This will freeze water. I'm not going to use it on my axolotls because those are my axolotls. But it will freeze water. It puts out fires. It's, it's kind of fun. 
Then I've got... I keep pressing my hotbar instead of... So then I've got a... A pull spell. Great for scooping up items on the fly. I've also got... This guy. Um, I'm guessing other people are casting spells right now. Let me just... Ah, he's riding me! I didn't even know you could do that. Thank you for the follow. I just heard the uh, jingle go in my head. Ah, that's a little cropped. I'm going to have to look at that later because that is cropped. I'm not from Newfoundland. I'm from Nova Scotia. A lot of these, a uh, lot of folks on this server are very likely based in Nova Scotia. A little bit of overlap, though, because, I mean, they're pretty welcoming to the general populace. Let's see if... Okay, cool. No problem. So let's just grab the address real quick. And I'm going to drop it in Twitch chat for anybody who might want to come and play this. There's also a map that you can have open in a browser. And that browser map is a really handy live map of everything. It's how I find my way around this massive place. So I'm going to throw the map in the chat here as well. Ah, gonna have to going to have to fix my alert box because that's not what I wanted it to do there. It's cropped weird. I'll take a look at that another time. That was a concerning sound. So going on to the magic of the wand. I've got this. This makes bubble of air when you're underwater. It makes a shot of water when you're above. It uh, kind of handy for a few things. This is a general buff. This uh, this temporarily will collapse anything. So if say there's a cave or any kind of pockets of stuff, you can collapse it on it. And after that bit of time, it'll actually reassemble itself. Can do things wonky if you've got a house put together. I don't tend to use it on my house, but uh, there we go. It's just gonna slurp itself back together. This spell lets me look through stuff by temporarily making things appear as glass. And then this one, this is my teleport spell. I haven't learned enough to unlock more lockers. This is where I was strip mining. This is where I died last, which is actually an intentional death so that I could get back to where I was mining netherite. And this takes me to my bed. Which you've already seen my bed, but uh, I'm also gonna take myself back out of F5 mode. So yeah, this is Wand Numero Uno, which you can change your spells on the fly and configure any wand. But I like to keep a couple, you know, one for utility purposes and one for other purposes. Uh, give me a moment here. I actually can't remember how to get... That's weird, I was accidentally getting out... Shit. <laughs> I'll fix that later. Uh, there we go get my hotbar back. I don't know what I did. Some of the mods have updated a bit since the last time I played them and the bindings are a little different. So that has sort of played screwy with my muscle memory here. Now onto the other wand. Before I head on over to where the cool town is. This one's a simpler wand. This is my... Oh no wait, that's my mining wand. Okay. I have a combat wand floating around somewhere. So this one... Whoop. can't remember what that does. Oh, that might just be fireworks or something. Uh, I know what that one does. It explodes things. And this one mines a tree. Yeah, I'll have to fix my house later if anything doesn't realign itself perfectly. That was a misclick. Then we get things like backpacks, which you can make big ol' backpacks with slime fun. That is one of the main reasons to get into that particular mod. I've got a utility backpack. I have got a mining backpack. I don't know where I got that candle from, but I have a mining backpack. So, a lot of cool stuff here. I'm just gonna grab my... I'm just gonna grab 
have my uh, usual goodies out of storage here. And nope, that's not my good bow. Where is my good bow? Hmm. Don't know offhand where my good bow is. I guess I'll, I guess this one's a good good enough bow. All right, so I've showed you around a little bit of where I live, where I do my business here. It's a nice spot. I planted all these fruit trees because I think they look good. This is my magic broom. This alone is a massive quality of life boost when you get going with it. It's a great way to fly around. The more you use it, the more it levels up and the more you can do it. Copper farm. Yeah, I uh, don't know what I could use for copper other than lightning rods and stuff to be real but you can you can go faster you can go slower you can explore the area I planted all these trees here because I thought wouldn't it be funny when buddy comes back to the server if he saw this beautiful lush forest where once was a barren land and then he never came back all right I'm gonna head on over to the main spawn area this is new I don't know who built this, but uh, this is pretty cool, actually. I am assuming everybody in the chat can still hear me and hear the game. I'm a relatively new streamer, so I'm still learning the ropes. This is my island that I've been working on. If Where there was not an island, I decided there should be, and have been working on filling it in layer by layer, trying to make it look as natural as possible. And also breeding axolotls just because. I also have a panda that somebody dropped off here for some reason. That's Poe. So onward. Now I know I've got a neighbor with a pretty cool build over this way. Uh, there's that, but I'm thinking more this lovely lighthouse. And I mean, I don't know whose island this is. But they have... Oh! Is that a shop? Well, we had... The server has an economy mod. So you can earn money in various ways. I am modestly wealthy, but I'm not own everybody wealthy. Oh yeah, it's a shop now. That's good to know, actually. Cool, cool shop. I've always just admired the lighthouse. That's a pretty cool looking build. There's a lot of very talented builders here. You'll notice I built a shack. These people are building lighthouses and monuments and stuff. So onward across this server, you can see we've got a bit of a rail system. Actually, it's a really cool subway style rail system that spans a lot of the map. One of the folks here put a lot of work in building that. I want to say it was Frog, but I also am not good at remembering names. This is the main town. This is where all the good stuff happens. So, from original spawn, I'll go from spawn through the town. Because everybody starts off here before they build themselves a nice shack. Oh, there's a ship now! Ooh, that's really pretty. It's been a little bit since I've actually played much on this server. Something I should really remedy. Now, one of the cool things about the broom is when you get off, you don't take fall damage. Because it considers it landing. So yeah, this is where everybody spawns. Brand new. Looks like some folks have put some gear for new players. That is pretty cool. Then you go through. There's a massive, massive castle. Ah! Nice. Very nice. There's all kinds of free... Oh! Well, that's really nice of people to do. Ah, Jimmy's, of course. Best shop on the server. They did not pay me to say that. But yeah, this is an absolutely enormous castle. Like, I don't know how long it took a person to build this, but we don't have creative mode on here. We're all on survival. Is that a ballista? I think that's a ballista. That's a ballista. Holy cow. Okay. Yeah, they put a lot of work in is the gist of what I am saying here. I'm just going to fly around it a little bit. Is that is a cool and almost overwhelming build. Like, it's... Just the sheer enormity of it. Then we fly down this way. Most newcomers would take the tunnel. 
There's a an in progress casino that has a lot of promise. Can't wait to see what they do with that one. We have the old site of the admin shop, but they packed up and uh, moved shop. Then we have a lot more heads than I remember there being here. Yeah. Oh, huh, cool. So the, a lot has actually changed since the last time I've played on this one. We come out on this side. Yeah, fall damage is not really a thing. <laughs> So there's a nice, cool statue. We have got a soccer or football field, depending on which part of the world you are in. Right? That castle is absolutely enormous. It's so impressive. But we've got this great place. Some, again, somebody's put a lot of work into that, the whole redstone thing. We've had some duels here before as well. I have, despite my overpowered armor, I've gotten wrecked a few times. <laughs> Mostly by people who know the magic system. We've got a bit of a parliament building here. Which is also pretty cool. I don't know what they actually do with that. I've never seen that in action. And then we have the library. Oh, also this is new. Actually, I don't know what this is. This is Well, obviously it's a house. It's a very pretty house. Oh, okay. Master Explosive Summer Home. Well, that is really lovely. That is a really nice build. Gotta say, Master Explosive is one of the many talented people on this server who know how to actually build something. I'm good at building, like, cubes. Rectangles, you know. If I, if I look at a picture of somebody else's build online, I can mostly copy it. But, like, I can't come up with stuff on my own. This server has a cool feature where you can claim a section of land. This protects that from anybody going in your chests, digging up your stuff. Well, let me actually switch to the Ent Slayer here and just show you. See? I don't have permission to build here, so I cannot take this down. It's a really cool anti-griefing measure for a server that I haven't really seen a lot of misbehaving on. Everybody is chill. It's my favorite thing about this server. Everybody is kind. They're helpful. They play nice. If you got a project, there's probably going to be somebody jumping at the bit to uh, help you out with that project. I know I butchered that saying. This is the library I was telling you about. It is another in-progress build, but I like it. Good use of the dark oak throughout it. As you can see, it's in progress, but uh, somebody's put a lot of work in so far. Chopping down those trees. <laughs> Wither skulls. So this is the admin shop now. They had one of the builders. My brain is telling me Frog. Somebody can probably correct me if it's not Frog. But they had them build a nice new storefront. So complete with that. So in this admin shop, you can just go and buy stuff. Like I could spend $2,000 for 64 purple concrete. I could buy a stack of dirt. I've actually bought a lot of stacks of dirt and sand when I was building my island over there. Makes life easier. You can also sell things for money. This is probably the key income source of the entire server. You can sell 16 iron for 4,000. You can sell a gold ingot for 2,000. You can sell a diamond for eight, over 8,000. <laughs> uh, three. And you can sell emeralds, of course, for... This is where most of us get rich, really, is the emerald trade. But, you know, it sells a lot of useful stuff. Not as much as Jimmy's shop, though. Jimmy's is the best shop. I will be showing you Jimmy's. See that tall building with the beams of light coming off of it? That's Jimmy's. Gonna be going inside there soon. Gonna murder this guy with the master sword real quick. Yeah. <laughs> ah, yeah. So, this is... You know, this is the main town. This is not the only town. I don't even know if this is the biggest town, but it's the main one. Everybody goes here after spawn, so all the real cool stuff is there. We've got a portal network set up. You can go right to the end in just a minute or two. There's all kinds of shops. Like, most of the shops you see are here somewhere. I'm just going to kick up my speed boost again so I don't feel like a slug moving around. 
we have got this cool jukebox styled record shop which has every record except for one they're out of stock of the one i know where it is i'm not going to give away the secret unless the shopkeeper says hey it's okay to give away the secret but there is a secret to that one where you can look and buy the pig step disc if they have it in stock last i checked they did not have it in stock oh post and shops under renovations Boop. i'm not supposed to be here but they actually still have a lot of cool stuff here again a lot of people making shops which helps make the server economy work it's uh, a lot of community together kind of stuff we have just a nice little shack don't know who built that but uh, you know this was probably one of the older builds if i had to guess and then we have oh that one's not jimmy's that one over there is jimmy's this is new this is okay I don't know. I don't quite. I think this is probably just an apartment or big office building in the works. Set up your own shop here. Good advice. Don't touch Willy. Also good advice. Out of the woods. I've definitely raided this place for saplings a few times. One time I replanted an entire desert into a lush for forest. Used a lot of saplings out of that store to do that. Then we have all kinds of stuff. Community gardens. Oh, subway connection. That's new. Wool shop. Uh, I think that's a UFO. Some of these are houses. Some of these are the first houses that were ever built on the server. Some of these are shops that set up people's own space before they kind of settled in. What do we want this area to be? So there's some grandfathered in buildings and structures. A lot of cool stuff, though, because, again, a lot of these people make really nice builds. Hopping around here, though, as I zip around using my speed boost and not using my broom, which is technically faster. Just because I like the feel of running fast. We've got, uh, oh, that's cool. Bulletin board advertises about contests. We had a jack-o'-lantern contest recently. I'll show, you my, uh, I'll show you my entry into that contest in a little bit. Yeah, skill system is great as well as Ted Meister 88 mentions in the chat in-game. It's, uh... Good, like one of those good quality of life boosts. You can get better at mining, get more stuff. Ooh. Juno Tower. Oh, yeah, it is an apartment building. And that's Donkey Kong. They, yeah. This is the best. And I... You'll probably notice me responding to in-game chat verbally. That is... Uh, I don't even know if the people in-game are reading this right now for the most part. But uh, habit. Huh. Oh, cool. There's a lot of stuff. Oh, it's real fake doors. It's real fake doors. Yes. Oh, my God. Oh, those are real doors. Where's the fake ones? Where's the real fake doors? Oh, this is, this is a cool build, though. What? Oh, yeah. Okay, so no actual fake doors per se that I've seen. But still a really cool shop and a fun, amusing reference. Nice build. So you probably notice I tend to geek out about nice builds. When somebody puts the work in and makes something pretty, it's like, that's really cool. This app. Ah, okay. Huh. Oh, cool. Yeah, they were talking about doing a chunk reload of any chunks that we haven't explored it for 1.18 so the stuff we built would stay but the stuff that we haven't built in or gone in would get you know all the new generation updates huh this is the whole intro board we slap our names down on this sort of give a little blurb about ourselves just another way that the this community builds a uh, community there's me might update that a little bit later on I do indeed like to mine, and I also like to craft. So this is pretty accurate. Oh! Oh, that's cool! Is that... I don't have... Uh, okay. So I don't have Angry Osiris's op <laughs> permission to use that. They may have not configured that quite right. I'm not sure. Looks cool, though. Then this. Ooh! Yeah, this has been upgraded a lot. We've got the Talking Dragon at Jimmy's Shop. Again, this is the best shop on the server. Sorry to anybody else who has a really good shop. 
I, this one's just a, just my favorite. You walk into Jimmy's, you get to see all kinds of stuff. Way more than what the admin shop brings to the table. You can buy netherite ingots. You can buy diamonds, of course. You can buy a bit of everything you would really be looking for. Want to do some? Want to do some potions or want to run to the end? Check out that price on sixteen blaze rods. You can't beat that. Like I, I went and grinded out blaze rods in the nether like a dummy. Same on the uh, ender pearls. Again, good price on the ender pearls. Although I have an infinite supply of ender pearls, but that involves going to the end. Oh, and crystal. That's a nice one. Some of these prices get a little, ooh, a little on the higher side. Uh, this is actually where I bought my overpowered armor. I mean, it was diamond armor with a bunch of enchantments on it. And then I netherited it and did whatever I could to upgrade it further. But at one point in time, those individual items popped up here. Reinf a reinforced fluffy wrench. It looks like an axe. I guess that's the reinforced part. So yeah, Jimmy's has a bit of everything. It has a cool stairway, but also I am just going to go to... Oh, wow, there's more. Okay. Jimmy's been putting the work in. So we've got the dyes and food floor. Make sure to buy a puffer fish and a carrot. Then we've got the magic section as well. This is where you get into stuff that you can get from the magic mod. Nothing like uh, just dropping 30 grand on the Master Sword. Highly recommend it. When, you, when your health is full, you can hit the throw button and it'll shoot a beam. It gives you a nice range capability. There's also a magic bow. I did not know about that one. I might grab that one later. Ah, here we go. All kinds of cool enchanted goodies. Rocket boots, rabbit boots, stuff that you can make using the magic mod specifically. They've got a bit of everything here. The magic sword is cool. It's basically a souped up wand. It's like a wand that you can also stab people with. As opposed to just sharpening the end of a regular wand. Then going on upstairs to the head shop. Not quite what I expected when I walked into the head shop, but here we are. This game, this server has a decapitation mod. It gives a high chance of mod mobs dropping their heads when you take them down. Furthermore, in Slime Fun, you can also craft a sword of decapitating that increases those odds. That was pretty instrumental in me uh, farming out heads so that I could repeatedly fight the Wither and build my Power Rangers monument. Yeah, it is a bit of a shame that it doesn't make the sword beam sound effect from the original Legend of Zelda. I think all the sound effects in this are stock Minecraft sound effects that have been repurposed in some way. I'm going to go up the stairs for this one without even knowing what this shop is. Mustard. Mayo. Nice. If these stairs were automatic, we could put the mayo on those stairs and be mayonnaise on an escalator going upstairs. So see you later. These are bits that you need for slime fun. Again, there's a lot of stuff. Like, you make parts for parts for parts in Slime Fun, and then the end result is a magic talisman that makes it so you're really likely to not take fall damage at all. So that's pretty cool. All kinds of foods, all kinds of crops, all kinds of good stuff. I spent a bunch of time farming and making cheeseburgers at one point, only to find out that they didn't really give me a lot of saturation. Now, last I checked, I'm a VIP. I don't have permission to do that. I might not be a VIP anymore. It's been a while. But uh, there's a VIP shop, actually. Ah, uh, no. VIP only. Okay. Well, let's see what's down below now. There's some basement floors. There's a nightclub. Oh. All right. So if you are prone to seizures, you might want to look away. I don't know if this is enough to set that up, but I'd rather play safe. Huh. This is actually a really cool setup. This was not here last time I was in this uh, in this place. And you could buy pineapple smoothie. Ooh, raspberry iced tea. Is that another pineapple smoothie? Yeah, it is. And a grape smoothie. Yum. There's the elevator, and we go down to the subway. This is that uh, subway system I was talking about. What you need is a boat. I don't have a 
actually. Let me check my, uh... I don't have a boat. <laughs> I could always go make a boat easily. But... You hop on a boat, you zip around. It's the same way that you can travel around in the nether network. You can get across the map real fast on a boat with the right kind of ice. Pew! Main floor on Jimmy's. Don't know how Jimmy made that elevator, but that's pretty cool. That is not the main nether portal, but it is a nether portal. And sometimes I think they link up. Oh, this is new. Oh, that is cool. They're collecting the tropical fish and selling the tropical fish. Oh, that is really cool. Helpful if you want to have a nice aquarium or breed axolotls. Ah. Nice. This server is constantly growing. I mean, it has its slow moments where we're all playing something else. It has its packed moments where there's a bunch of us on at the same time. But every time I come on here, there's something new. This is the good old enchanting room with anvils, anvils, a chest for stash and stuff. You now all the goodies here. Somebody built this so that everybody could enjoy it, which I always like that mindset. Ah, the banner kiosk. Right, right, right. That is a Master Ball banner right there, I think. It's not labeled that, but... Uh, ooh. Ooh, okay. Tran a lot of different pride flags. Trans flag, nice. Whoop. Instant transmission going on there. And this is new, too. I don't even know what this is, but this is pretty. Oh, this is where they move the community stuff. It used to be an outdoor thing where you could just go and get different community things if you needed stuff. Community net, like community nether stuff, community ores and ingots. Like all kinds of cool stuff here. Community gear. I've tossed some goodies in the community gear before. Usually stuff that I have replaced. So there's been the occasional netherite piece that's gone in there. This is a fried chicken restaurant. They have a very complex and detailed menu here. And yeah, you can just buy cooked chicken. You can buy pre-cooked chicken. And you can buy after-cooked chicken. Yeah. Is that a dummy or a person? The National Archive is also new. I know nothing about this one other than that it is a National Arc... What? Oh, cool! I'm gonna take a look at that, just to see what this is all about. What? Ah! Okay, that that is, that is kinda cool. <laughs> Alright, somebody, again, somebody's put the work in. I'm gonna put that back for other people to enjoy, but... Huh. <laughs> just, just books? Oh, right, right, right. Plug in stuff, maps. That one's not. Ah, that is useful. That is very useful. Oh! Um, that's a little bit of... <laughs> that's, that's important right there. Jimmy's is labeled on the map. Uh, of course I can't. <laughs> Oh, no, that's why That's why the uh, proprietor of Jimmy's is the one who did that. What is up, Odin Wolf? Good to see you in the chat. And I'm just exploring my favorite Minecraft server. Ah, interesting. Ah. Oh, Bitey. I've encountered Bitey in the wild before. Bitey is... You think you're overpowered, but you're not bitey overpowered. Bitey was a fighty. Now I'm going to show you our beetroot garden as I try to remember where the where the sh where the um the trade section is. It's been a little I always go from above. Let's let's pop up top and see if I can pinpoint that. I think I'm close. Hmm. I feel like it should be here. Where is... There's enough that's changed that my, uh, memory is not all good. Where is the... Where is the underground trading area? Okay. 
could have sworn it used to be here. Ah, nice. Let's uh, see if I can spot where they've gone. I know there were far. Ah! Oh my god, I was looking. It's exactly where it's always been. So you hop down here, and you have this beautiful area where you've got all kinds of traders. They're all master class traders, they sell all kinds of good stuff. It's really handy if you're looking to do some enchantment because you can look around, pay for different books. Some of them are labeled by what they have, usually the real key stuff you would possibly be looking for. Some of the signs have been removed. There might have been a creeper incident or two in here, but uh, efficiency, like, you, you can get pretty much every enchantment you are looking to get in here. All you need is the EXP to throw them together. And then they have a nice community thing. I've made use of it. I've contributed to it. They've got an auto farm going somewhere, and it just generates trading materials. Like, you can trade with the farmers, you can make paper to trade with the, uh, trade with the librarians, you can beat everyone up with a beat. And then, of course, don't mess with the hopper. Good advice. Then, of course, you can just go down here to whatever is down here. Probably lots of cool stuff. I've never actually explored that too much. I might come back to that a bit later. I want to show you folks some other cool things, including my best build, which is in the end. It's a thing I've made for... Whoa. Whoa, this is new. Okay, okay. Oh, hey, I actually might have took fall damage on that one. Sorta. This is really cool. Oh, oh, okay. Right into a ravine. Huh. This wasn't here last time I was on here. This is really cool looking. I like it. That's probably the way back, right? Oh, yeah. Nice. All right. Let's be going to the nether then. Because we've got a whole very nice... Ooh, ha! That's a nice thing to do. We have got a really nice nether network as well. Somebody built this beautiful thing. They labeled it based on the directions. They tell you where you're going if you want to go to the end. There was a box of boats here, and I put a bunch of boats in for people, but I don't know where the boat box is. I don't have wood. Huh. So we doing this the, uh, if I can manage this, sometimes I can pull this off. Oh, nope. <laughs> and there's overhead stuff that trips it out a little bit. Come on, come on, come on. Ah, all right, I'm just going to run. I'm just going to run. It's still ice. It's still ice and I got speed boost. It's not going to be that bad. And there's all kinds of side paths. They go to other people's places. They go all over the uh, world. They do have pills for that level up Leo who, by the way, is my favorite streamer on Twitch. If anybody's looking for some great gaming content to check out, uh, Level Up Leo, I highly recommend. Does speed runs, does fun community stuff. Oh! Ha! Ah. Wee! There we go. Oh, this is prettier than the last time I was in here. See? Always improvements going on with this place. It's always being improved, always upgraded. Like... There's just so many creative people on this server. It's something I love about it. Then we get to the end, which has been made prettier. Sorry, the uh, fortress. The stronghold. My god. I'm getting everything mixed up. Yeah, this is not a standard... Oh, the long way. Right. Yeah. Ah, that's cool. So you can pop out surface-wise. I'm actually going to take a little look up here. Oh, hey. Welcome to the chat pen panel. Uh, if I've mispronounced that, let me know. I almost pronounced it Penhull, though, which uh, flips a few letters. Oh, that's cool. I, I don't really have a good grasp of redstone, but I can appreciate the cool stuff other people do with it. So, yeah. Going back into the stronghold. Into the nether portal. Into the end portal, my god. And you can see it. Whoa. No, wait, that one's not mine. Somebody else did one. Neat. So, we go here. The dragon has been 
slain repeatedly. Repeatedly, repeatedly. Every one of these is a dragon slaying. I don't even know if the dragon can be respawned anymore if we've maxed that out. If the dragon can still be respawned, I might go around with it later just to show you how OP everything I've got on me is. I don't think... Oh, no. Okay, that's just a person running around. Good. I was going to say, I don't think there's anybody who's built on the island anything that would be lost by the dragon destroying it. Huh. Here we go. And this is... Uh... Somebody has done some stuff with this. Not sure how I feel about this. But uh, I don't have enough claim blocks available to claim the whole thing and stop people from doing it. So this is my Grindomatic 5000, version 1.8. The upper platform's got to be bigger at some point. That's why it's not a completed version. Because, I mean, there's a maximum distance that Enderman can go to. Yeah, there we go. I want to replace this with ice so that people can boat eventually. But all these Enderman heads give you a hint at what's ahead. Oh, that is good to know. Thank you very much, Master Explosive. So, here is my Enderman farm. This is set up so that the only spot Enderman can go is down. Up top, there's an Endermite in a boat. Quiet, you. These have been... This is the exact amount of fall, fall damage to make it so that you can kill an Enderman with... What punch? So, great way to do your enchantments. Great way to... If you want to spend the EXP to learn Slime Fun, it's a great way to do that. Great way to repair your mending gear. You just kick away at it until your gear's good. Like, you literally cannot not kill these guys. It's, it's actually it's actually great. I, felt, I feel really good about this build in particular. And then I've set up a little tip jar there, because I figure, why not? Oh yeah, that's right, I was gonna deliver some of that, some supplies. This way, people have books available and lapis available. I'm gonna get out of here, because these guys are loud. These guys are very loud. And heads up. Uh, welcome to the chat, Saiyan Corvin. Good to see you here. First time chat. Now, I have a couple ways that I could get right home. Of course, I could hop in the portal. It'll take me to wherever I slept last. I don't remember where that is, but that's an easy way out. Or I could pop out uh, my wand. I've got a... Oh, that's the wrong wand. All right. I'll pop out my other wand. And I have got that teleport spell I showed you folks earlier. This will take me right to the spot that I have designated as home, which I think, again, is the bed that I slept in last. So that answers that question. Of course, I could also hop in the portal. That is a great way to get back to your spawn point. If you're the first person to take down the dragon, you also get to see the fantastic end credits that Minecraft has. Like this if you cry every time. But there's one more way. It makes good use of the economy on this server. You can buy a way home real quick. Which is great if you're sinking in lava or about to fall into the void. You type slash home. Look at that. Cost me a thousand. How much money do I have? I have got 2.9 million. Somebody should probably eat the rich on me here. So then we've got this guy who got... Oh, he's back in his boat. That's good. I've got an accelerated furnace. This thing is an enhanced furnace. It smelts faster than any furnace before that number, including the stock ones. But there are higher levels of furnace you can do on Slime Fun. Wow, everybody get out of the boat today. So i got these. I can smelt them. Again, the fruits of my labor from uh, the strip miners. I got this spot down here. I've just, you know, just leaving diamonds around. I mean, really, I don't need... I don't need all these diamonds that I have. Which... Worked hard for, let's be real. I have an extensive strip mine. 
Like, this is some Minds of Madness right here. Like, every single one of these tunnels, I'd go five deep. I just go down, dig till I can't dig anymore. Usually, oh, oh, yeah, right, right, there's lava. Speaking of which, you know how I talk about this armor being overpowered. I'm gonna go get a snack. And if I wanted to, like, actively eat, I could probably do this indefinitely. Especially with golden carrots. Look at that, look at that, look at that. Needless to say, I am very satisfied with my armor purchase from Jimmy's. I don't even have a water bucket. I've gotten pretty good at landing the water bucket, but I don't even have a water... Ah, oh, there it is. Cool, cool, cool. I'll just keep that on me for funsies. Hmm. Oh, you go in the utility slot. You go in the axe slot. There we go. Rearrange my inventory a little. Did my armor even take damage? My armor did not take damage. I have a less overpowered helmet. It's still decently tough. But it's got that XP boost, which is great when I'm grinding out those levels for slime fun. So every single one of these tunnels down here is just, it's kind of a maze. Anywhere I hit diamonds or hit lapis, I mine it out. Anywhere where I hit a dead end or lava, I just move on to the next one. So I've spent a while in here, as you can see. Actually, if I go down here far enough, I will also show you where I farmed the wither. Again, this this just, like all of these are dug in like that and, am I going backwards? I might be going backwards. Yeah, I don't have a sense of direction. So we'll see if I'm going backwards or not. Needless to say, I spent a lot of time hauling diamonds out of here for a variety of things. I did not go backwards. Let's see, where is see if I can remember which one of the... Ah, this guy. So yeah, this is where I have farmed the wither. I've got another one set up here. Basically just slapped a bunch of walls down. Keep them in a nice, confined space. Slap the crap out of them. Actually, not with the Master Sword. Even though the Master Sword packs a punch. This sword has sharpness and smite on it. Excalibut. The legendary butt sword. And this one makes some pretty quick work of the wither. To the point where I've got all those, uh, I've got, I actually ground those out in an afternoon to get all the Power Rangers monument. I am just going to, uh, this way I get XP for the magic. Yeah, Cause you gotta level up your magic and then you can learn new stuff. Oh, all right. So now I have shown you around the basics of what I love about this server. I've got a uh, deluxe cheeseburger on the wall. i got heads on the wall. I've got a photo of me, not a head of me, because uh, nobody's taken my head off yet, even though there's definitely some people on this server who are well capable of that. I've got an enchanting spot. That's just there for funsies, though, to fill in the spot, because, you know, it's got no books around it. I can't really enchant a lot off it. I actually am building up diamonds. I remember now why I need them is because I want to grow more netherite plants and you need to get the diamond to get the netherite. So it's a whole sequential thing. Hmm. I had a bright idea. Or that looks bad. That looks bad. I love it. Ah, uh, shulker boxes, which are also fun. Just random, random stuff. Like, I, I try to organize things. This also has a, it's either a plugin or a mod, where if you're in a folder and there's just random stuff in there, you double click and it sorts it. It's a pretty handy feature for someone such as myself who is very disorganized. Despite all these very convenient chests showing you what's in them, my stuff tends to be clutter. So just all kinds of goodies here. I have food. Do I have any cheeseburgers? I got some. I got some hamburgers. Uh, deluxe cheeseburgers. Nice. 
Take a few of those for the road. And a plant. Wood. I, fa I found that you can store things in shops. You just set it up so that it's got a ridiculously high buy price or you can't buy it. And I just shove things that I have lots of in there because otherwise, you know, it's only so many spots for chests. Just like, um, I've got 147 reds. I got 972 redstone in that one. These are the deep slate coal, the regular coal. I, I got, uh, I got some resources here. I actually emptied that one out when I smelted all this. Can't remember what I was going to do with that. I think I was going to farm, uh, I think I was going to farm golems for heads. Again, it's been a little bit since I played this one. Oh yeah, now in terms of what I know of the server, I've shown you the main stuff. Help message. Oh, it's filtering butt spot. For <laughs> okay, okay, that's uh, there we go. All right, pair in a butt, butt. Don't double click. It will void all the items. That is good to know. Uh, I don't even know if I have an elytra, to be honest. The I prefer the broom. But uh, I think elytra is technically faster. So yeah, let's let's do a little exploring here. I'll, I'll take a look at the uh, map. Hmm. Hmm. Heard that. So somebody is getting their nether star on right now. Ooh, ooh, okay. I don't remember this. This is cool. Check it out. This is really nice. Who built this? No idea who built this, but uh, it looks cool. And a lot of a lot of what I like about this server, as I have mentioned, is just going around appreciating people's builds. You get the utility builds, and you get the fun fun builds. Then we come to the desert. Once upon a time, this was a barren desert. Then it was a lush forest, and then it became a barren desert again. Like a bunch of those trees are just uh, not around anymore. Turns out that the person living here actually likes living in a desert, which I should have checked first before I planted a bunch of, uh... Ah, cool looking island base, you say. You are right. I'll have to check that out in a moment. Since I'm here, I might as well... This is probably a bad idea, but that chicken seems to be doing okay. That doesn't even have a throat. We're good. This thing can't digest me. Butt spot is... Oh, no! Ha <laughs> ha! Uh, but what is butt cannot die? The fun part about these uh, food items that you can craft in this game that are above and beyond the standard Minecraft things, you eat them instantly. The downside is, I don't think they give you any actual saturation. They restore hunger, but they don't stick with you. Now, I think you are right. There was an island base that was pretty cool. Yeah, Frog's Chess Monster. Frog is one of the uh, very prominent builders on this server, has made a lot of cool stuff. As always, they make some pretty cool builds overall. I, again, I'm pretty sure Frog's the one who did the admin shop. Now, there was a pretty cool island. And there's also this, which is interesting. What is... Oh! Oh, it's just somebody's base. Neat! Alright. Now, I wonder where that island base could be. Oh! Ah, yeah, of course. Like regular Minecraft, a person can, in fact, sleep. If you get enough people sleeping at the same time, we can sleep and skip the night. Oh no, okay. I might tab up the map here on my other screen. See if I can figure out which island base, because there's so many that is been, has been mentioned in the chat. I'm definitely just going in a random direction right now. I'm just cruising. 
What a cool looking island base directly off the coast there, is what was said. I'm inclined to agree, but let's see if I can retrace my steps. Oh, is that the is that the lighthouse that I showed off earlier? Yeah, it's cool looking. That was actually one of the first things I showed off when I flew off of my island. Se second thing, I showed off the island that I'm building, and I showed off this sweet lighthouse. That is a impressive sentence there. But needs the Excalibut to be the true butts master. Not to be confused with the 90s cartoon Bots Master. If anybody's ever watched that, you just aged 30 years. Alright, let's see what else we got here. So many builds. Come north, but I'm too far away. Uh, which direction is north? I mean, this thing's pretty fast. Oh, there's also that. Alright, let me just uh, make sure I'm not going to glitch when I TP. Alright. Yeah, so when I replanted this as a forest, I just went around, I dig a hole, slap a dirt, slap a seedling on there. And for a while, it was lush and beautiful. And then everything changed when the Fire Nation attacked. They actually did... Really what? Oh yeah, this. Away! <laughs> oh yeah, we're told. Wee. I'm just gonna boop boop. Oh right, this place. I remember this. This was. This, I remember when we got the tour of this place. This is a sweet friggin' build. Like, it it is really really far north though. Like, uh, I have to zoom way out on that map online again. I dropped it. Wow, that is up there. But, I mean, look at it. It is a freaking sweet castle. It's got a lot of cool stuff inside. I've been given the tour here before. It's got that nice map of Castle Island. That's probably not the actual name of it. It's got a diamond willy. Don't touch willy, which is still good advice. It's, honestly, th this, is, this is a really cool build overall. Oh, yeah, slime fun. There's somebody else who's gone down the slime fun rabbit hole. Huh. This is cool. Yeah, they, they kind of have the same sort of... Ooh. That looks cool. And there's, there's some stuff you can do with, like, actual electricity and things like that as well. I haven't gotten into that yet. Oh, my God, right? I'm Zip Zoolander. ZZ for short. I fight the corpse. I'm the bots master. That shit was good. That had some cool robot designs. Like, I don't know why there were not, like, action figures everywhere that show. I ah. ah. Right. Oh, I bet that probably just shoots out the different parts of the iron golem and it auto-assembles. Which is a clever setup in itself. So, yeah, they have a cool castle. They've set themselves up very well for the slime fun setup as well among many other things and before i forget i am just gonna grab a little bit of wood so i have a boat next time i hit one of those ice paths and yeah, just a little wood now a skill that you can learn in this like as, as some folks have mentioned, this has got a whole stats thing. You can level up in mining, you can level up in wood cutting. The more you do a thing, the more experience you get in the thing. Just going to make sure I have that in case I want it. So one of the things you can do, which I'm going to fly away from this person's space just so I'm not chopping up their space, but you can chop down a whole bunch of trees at once with a woodcutter skill. You can tur you can giga drill when you're mining. You can do bonus damage with a sword. Like there's lots of stuff that you can actually learn how to do. There we go. We got some trees. Now this works the best if the trees are like connected, because it'll it'll sort of have a range and be a little contiguous. 
All right, can't do that with this in my hand. Or, well, doing that. Every time, every time. Now, the thing about that move is it chops a tree down immediately. You gain all the wood. You also take the durability hit. So you get the same durability hit as if you had individually chopped down every single one of those logs. So it's balanced in a way. Or we've got the aptly named Giga Drill. So normal mining speed for stone. Jacked up mining speed for stone. Ask me how I did all that strip mining. <laughs> yeah. Also how I leveled up that uh, mining skill to what it was. Now we are actually in a mostly untamed section of the world here. They are that far north. Which, if somebody was looking to build something and not intrude on another build, I mean, we still got, we've still got unexplored map. I mean, I know Minecraft worlds are huge, but, like, if you can zoom out, there's, there's still some pretty big chunks that nobody's ever been. Likewise, I think probably the same for the nether. Oh, I am... Is that a, is that a, no that's a mesa biome. So I was just I've got a very handy map open in another window, and just looking around like I can't even find my way back on the map to the main spawn. It's that far out. But pew, I'll pop back here, head on up, and there are a lot of other cool builds. A lot of people have sort of struck on out on their own and built some cool places. Again, I said that that main town I showed you, that's a pretty good town. It's not the only town that's been built on this server. I don't even know if it's the biggest town that's been built on this server. But there's some good, good towns, good sections here. So I'm going to hop on my broom again. And I'm going to... Stop by Jimmy's to do a little bit, bit of business first off, and then I'm going to do a little bit more exploring. Yeah. Honestly, I love this broom. I I actually love this broom so much. I want this in like vanilla Minecraft. This is so good. I mean, it's definitely overpowered. Like, there's a reason you can't. There's a reason you don't get the elytra until very late into the game, and this. In terms of consistency, like, I don't need fireworks rockets to use this. So, in that way, it's good. Technically, if you get lots of fireworks rockets, though, I think the Elytra is faster. But yeah, let's, uh, head on up to Jimmy's. Yeah. Oh. Ah, that's cool. Current V- Ah! So I am on the VIP list. I just can't get into the VIP room. Because the buttons say I need Jimmy's permission. That's okay. What is a condo? Oh, yeah. Like, you can, now you can just straight up buy beacons. Not to be confused with bacon, which I think you can also buy. And uh, raspberry iced tea. I'll just grab four of those for later. What's this, anyway? Bucket of oil. Parachute. Ooh, okay. There's some, there's, there's a lot of stuff I haven't even discovered on this server. Like, I'm pretty far along in that I'm really kitted out. Only, really, the only threat to me in this game would be PvP with other players. Because I'm pretty sure there's some players on here who could destroy me. But in terms of actual in-game threats, nothing. Even, even the void, as long as I can type slash home fast enough, the void's not a concern. I don't know where I was going with that sentence. Oh yeah, I'm going to show you guys... First off, the jack-o'-lantern patch. Also, this is new. I don't recognize this. Ah, yes, the statue of. Huh. Jimmy kills kittens with every purchase. You've got to be kidding me! Ooh, is this a coliseum? What is this? That's oh, a cat. Okay. Okay. I don't know. This is a, this is cool looking. 
I don't actually know what it is, but it's cool looking. Look at me go. Oh, hey, dolphins. Nice. Turbo mode activate. Oh, okay. That, I actually outraced the dolphin there, I think. Out of the water into... Ah, okay. Yeah, that's who built this. That checks out. That checks out. That's why it looks amazing. Yes. Like, I spend less time playing Minecraft and more time appreciating people's builds. Hmm. Hope nobody lets the dogs out. This, this must be Casa de Jimmy. This is really cool. Oh! Of course there's an elevator! Of course there is an elevator! Because that is just too convenient not to have, really. What? Oh, yeah, of course. See? Protects people... Protects from people nicking their stuff. Did I just... Oh yeah, I can jump the fence. <laughs> that... Oh, goats! They're goats! See? I know, right? I mean, these are still... These are actually technically streams, but I am going to be having a big event. It's based on the Minecraft Manhunt on the 25th of November. Stream starts at 2 p.m. The hunt is on at 3 p.m. Up to 20 people at a time are going to take their best shot at me. First person to take me down, to hunt me down, because it's a bounty hunt, so I'm on the run. But first person to, to hunt me down and bring me down... They're going to get 500 Dogecoin, which is roughly 160 bucks Canadian. I'm not, uh, I'm not exactly wealthy YouTuber, wealthy streamer wealthy, but I had some Dogecoin tucked aside, and I thought, I want to do a lot of content where somebody can win something that is useful to them. Somebody can win money. Somebody can win, like, a graphics card or stuff like that. So I'm kind of hoping I catch on enough. Some places start sponsoring me. They start being like, hey... Why don't you use our product as a prize? And I'll be like, yeah, you want me to do a build contest? A PvP contest? What you got? So that's sort of what I want to do. I want to be a gateway to bringing cool stuff to people. Like, you know, people, somebody happens to be good at Minecraft and they win rent that month sort of thing. What is this? What is... Huh. This is cool. I don't know. I... Like, a lot of these builds, I don't know what is the plan here, but, uh, this is more than a chunk. I wonder how long this took. It's also real dark down here. A creeper farm! That makes sense. That's really cool. Oh, yeah. Alright, I'm going to ascend, and... Oh, is that the is that the library? That's is that the Halifax Library? No, uh, not quite as overhangy. I like our library; it has a cool design. Oh yeah, all yeah, right, right. I saw that from the other side. All right, let's go check out the recent contest. They had a contest on this server where people could build jack o' lanterns, or the build was to be jack o' lantern. Actually, I know I'm gonna loop around up here and swing by an enormous tree. Well, would you look at that? So I'm gonna swing by this other section of cool build before I go onward to where the pumpkin patch is. Oh, geez, I'm just coming across all kinds of cool stuff here. Hello, who built that? I see somebody else likes uh, likes llamas. They're not as lame as you might think. That that one was a stretch. I'm sorry. All right, onward and upward. I'm gonna check. Okay, there's a lot of stuff I want to check. I'm gonna loop. I'm gonna do a little loop. I see something going on over here on the map. I wish Minecraft had a map like this. I wish I w well I dropped the uh, I'm gonna drop it in the chat again in a moment once I'm somewhere where I'm not gonna overshoot target but uh, if you if you have a look on the map 
it tracks, it shows you everything. It also shows you where players are at any given time. I'm going to drop it in the chat for a second time. Go away, Mike. There we go. So anybody who wanders on over to that, and you'll have to copy and paste the whole thing, you can see the map of this world. You can zoom in, you can zoom out, you can go around, you can change the layer so that you're looking at the world overhead, you're looking at the world 3D, you can toggle it to the nether, to the end. You get an idea of who is in which dimension, which is also a cool feature. So I can actually peek in in real time and see if somebody's, for instance, making use of my uh, my Enderman grinder, the Grindomatic 5000. So I know there's something over here. I don't know what it is. I don't know who built it, but it is what is this? Oh, ma Swamp Mall! Swamp Mall! Yeah, Swamp Mall. Swamp Mall. And that's a hole. Psh. I can't really take fall damage with this. There's many layers of prot and feather falling on there. Push to open door. Good advice. What? Oh, that is cool. That is so cool. Ah. Okay. Okay. Nice. Fred. Oh, it's a whole it's a whole mall. Okay. Fred's. Ah. It's another record setting store. Then we go to Stoned. Swamp Mall does not kill kittens with every purchase. Oh, that is cool. I love I love stuff like that. I love redstone stuff. Oh yeah. I like that you see how it's done. T flip. Neat. Neat, neat, neat. Cash register is here, so you can tell it's a mall. Oh, that's cool. That's cool. It's a bunch of redstone. Oh, oh okay. Nice. Mostly redstone centric stuff. So if you wanted to build a flying machine, you could. I don't know why you would, because it's a. Uh, Because it's a massively slower than, you know, the broom or the elytra. Ha! Jimmy's mini. Jimmy's... Ah, uh, oh, shulker boxes. Nice. Those are handy. They're not quite backpack handy, but they're still pretty handy. Of course. Oh, it's a garbage bin. Clever. I don't know what made that happen, but, uh... Oh! Okay! That's cool! This is enormous. Ah, uh, yeah, give me my speed boost here. Holy cow! Oh! Is that a mo is this a movie theater? Oh, what is this? This is cool. Uh, this definitely didn't exist last time I was on here. This is so cool. Oh my god. A frog cave. I don't know who built that. It's a, it's a complete mystery. What? Oh. <laughs> oh my god. Oh my god. Okay. There, there are some really, really creative people on this server. Never mind getting into how long it would have taken people to grind out all this stuff. I might not be supposed to be down here. Well, there's no no flying sign. Ah, alright, so that is, that is really cool. Dang. Even I've under... Okay, okay, cool. Even I've underestimated all the times I'm saying these people have put the work in. I'm even lowballing just how much work has been put in, clearly. Huh. B. 
big green. Who dat? <laughs> okay. So, yeah, this is no longer a children-centric stream. <laughs> Although, really, I don't think I was going to be a safer work streamer anyway. I mean, I've tried so hard to fight the casual cursing in my language, but I also grew up in Nova Scotia. Oh, damn. Ah, that's cool. That's cool. Wow. Wow. Button. So. Oh, that's to keep the water contained. That's clever. Try not to hit the ceiling. Try not to hit the ceiling. I'm definitely lost. <laughs> we. Oh, it's bouncy. Oh, is this? Ah. Is this for hockey? No, no, it would be ice if it was for hockey. PvP! Ah, okay, yeah. I don't need to collect up all my stuff today, so I'm gonna skip the PvP. But you'll, for the folks who want to see that PvP content, again, uh, we're looking Thursday the 25th at 2pm Atlantic Standard Time. We're in daylight savings time now, which, of course, adds a whole level of extra confusion. Or we're out of daylight savings time, one of the two of them. Luxury elite. Ooh, that is an elite cash register there. So yeah, this, this is a really cool mall that I didn't know existed. Ah, clever. Ooh, god apple. Whoops. I <laughs> right-clicked with my broom hand. Hmm. Nice. Okay, so... This, this place is just absolutely massive. I can't even... Im Imagine how long it took to make this place. Dr. Buzz. It does. Has, was Dr. Buzz turned into a chicken? Uh, honeycomb. Honey block. Honey bottle. Empty beehive. Empty. Filled beehive contains bees. Just what you don't want to see on that bag of chips. Caution contains bees. 10k shulk. That's exactly what it says on the tin. I wasn't expecting to be exploring a mall on this Minecraft stream, but here we are. Ah, that is cool. That is cool. The dripstone. They added a lot of cool stuff to the game in this uh, in this version. Preferred shopping location for all your Minecraft needs. Uh. <laughs> that is cool. Of course, since the uh, out, since the out of bucket, since sorry, the bucketed axolotls all look the same when they're on the ground, but they're all different colored axolotls in reality. Hmm. Wait, what's the price on these guys? Next time he logs in. Okay, uh, that's a good price for axolotls. I can spend an axe a little on them. Which one is this? Utilities. Now I want the mining backpack just to offload some stuff. Doop doop. I'll toss that there for now. I like axolotls. They're uh, they are adorable. They're an adorable addition. Whoop. Are these both the same? Gold axolotl. Gonna guess these are the same. They're just a cool display. It's just... Okay. Cyan axolotl. Nice. These guys will find a nice home in my axolotl pond when I get back to my base. For now, I'm gonna stuff them in here. Where they're perfectly fine just chilling out and 
being adorable in buckets. For anybody who's not seen an axolotl in bucket before, I mean, look at look at look at that. Look at that. You're running around. You're on an adventure. You get a bucket of this cute guy with you. Whoop! There we go. So yeah, that's that's the best thing they've added to this. I mean, the cave revamp is pretty nice and all, but whatever. It's no axolotl. What? Oh, yeah. The rail. <laughs> that is cool. That, yeah, this is, this is really cool. What? I probably did it wrong, didn't I? <laughs> okay, okay. Nope. Wee. Bouncy, bouncy. All right. Lottles. See if I can find my way out of this place without having to pop a slash home. What? Oh, this is an actual Minecraft elevator rather than a um, rather than a slime fun elevator. That is cool. Just like real life malls, I am definitely getting lost. Well, uh, thank you. Good to have you here. Good to see you in the chat. Thank you for coming out to my stream and for building this sweet frigging mall. Oh, I got food trucks. Oh my god. Ah, uh, yeah, there's, there's... God, this is, this is honestly amazing. And I mean, granted, you can buy a lot of materials at the admin shop, and with various upgrades on the armor, you can get good drop rates on stuff, but again, we, we do a lot of building on this server in survival mode. I don't think there's really a lot of creative mode ones look, running around. Now, I have no idea where to go from here. But that's part of the fun is exploring. That's exactly what I said I was going to do here today was explore my favorite server. On Wednesday, I am going to do some Minecraft playthrough casual speed running, same start time of 2 p.m. On Friday, I am going to, after Leo has finished his stream, I'm thinking I'm going to do some cursed and overpowered mods. I've got, I've got a few that I've picked up from some really good YouTubers, Patreons. Oh yeah, here we go. And I'm going to run some of them. I'm going to start off with one. I'm going to start off with uh, Wisp and Jagster's fantastic uh, Minecraft, but mobs are OP. And if I get my butt whooped, I'm going to start adding things like Minecraft, but milking is OP. Minecraft, but crap, but smelting multiplies. I'm going to add OP mods until I can actually handle dealing with the OP mobs. So that's going to be the plan for Friday. What is this? What is... What is... Oh, it's ice. It's ice. Ah, oh, server gonna restart. Okay. This'll be a good time for me to take a bit of a stream break. So, uh... Yeah, let me just log... I'll throw up my screen. Throw on a little bit of pig step. And grab myself a drink. Float some drink. So thank you folks for tuning in so far. This has been a lot of fun. I hope you've been enjoying what you've been seeing. And hopefully not just because it's the server you folks play on. Although, to be real, I'm okay with that. So, gonna throw up my... BRB screen. And where is Pig Step? Uh, I have that stashed somewhere. There we go. All right, let me just, uh, music and sounds. I'm just going to throw her off for now so that pig step can kick in. Let me restart that. All right, I will be back at 345. I'm going to take a 15-minute break to drink, snack, stretch, all that good stuff. I recommend if you're just sitting chilling, if you're
you're not actively playing Minecraft or anything like that, you should also probably hydrate and stretch. It also should not be showing that yet. I'm gonna clear that guy off of there. So, I'll be back in a bit.
Welcome back to you folks as well. Hope you had a little bit of time to get a drink, get a little bit of a stretch in. So let me throw back up my mainstream view. Oh, yeah, there my chat came up on that. Interesting. I might still have to pay, play around with that a little because uh, uh, it's a learning process for me. I'll get her all nice and pretty eventually. Let me just throw the music back on in Minecraft. Gonna hop back on to the server. You can ignore uh, any other servers you might happen to be seeing on here, especially this one up top. This one's definitely not going to be relevant on the 25th of November. I definitely didn't go rent a nice server just for the purpose of that, because I realized the one that I host off my laptop can only handle like five people, realistically, even though it, sh it would show otherwise. So let's get back Let's get back into Minecraft as we explore my favorite Minecraft server. Those of you who've been with us so far, it's my favorite Minecraft server. And it's really the Minecraft community on this server that makes it my favorite Minecraft server. The builds are great. The people are even better. That's been my experience since I joined this a few months ago, ever since they dropped that ad for it in r slash Nova Scotia, and somebody reported it as spam, and I was like, wait, wait, hold on a minute. This is this, this looks good. I, I would be okay with calling this an official r slash Nova Scotia server if uh, the server owner is also cool with that. Now let's resume our exploration. We've just checked out a massive massive mall the swamp mall beautiful job on that mall I'm really really impressed and I'm just gonna scoot around here a little do a little bit of a loop a little looperino let's see what else people have built just hopping on my magic broom just modded minecraft things ooh okay okay hello hello Oh, somebody's got a lot of that deep slate going on. Whoop. I'm going to hop down there. Yes, hi, kitty. Blue angel? Blue angel. Nice. This is cool. This is, a, this is actually a clever way to organize your stuff, too. So one of the things I should mention as well, this server has a mod that makes loot interesting. You open a box and it's got a chance that it'll have a random RPG style name and a few extra enchants on it. Likewise, if you're enchanting, it'll generate some results like that. So sometimes you pick up a candle or a stick and it's got a name on it. So 
you know, just one of those things. If you see something that's got a weird name, unlike, say, my Giga Drill, my Ant Slayer, my Gentle Pick, my Weird Spoon, that sort of thing, if you see stuff outside of the stuff that I have named myself, it's probably a mod that has named that. Okay, good. My, uh, my box is working again, the alerts box. And thank you, Mr. Silly, for following. Welcome to the stream. So we are going to continue exploring my, again, my favorite Minecraft server, checking out all these sweet builds, all the builds I can find. If you're sitting here in the chat and you're thinking, when are they going to show my build? Make sure you let me know where it is or pop into the server to help direct me because if you've got a cool build, I want to show it off here. But I also don't have an all-encompassing memory or a very good functioning memory at all to begin with. Uh, thank you, ADHD. Ooh, ooh, that's kind of pretty. I don't quite know what this is, but it's pretty. Nice. Now, the only thing I wish is I could put a bit of a dragon skin on this broom. Then I could fly around singing the never-ending story. That would be fantastic. I mean, I could fly around singing the never-ending story anyway, be real. But nobody actually wants that. Pigs. Let's see what we got over here. Okay. This is cool looking. This is really cool looking. Somebody put a lot of time into getting those bricks to wall things off on oh, nice like. They got their iron golems going around. I think some of this might still be in construction. And Oh, and that's a greenhouse. I bet that's meant to be a greenhouse then. Just realizing because it's got the plants and stuff in it. Oh, yeah, glass. The glass just loaded. Right. Beautiful. I want a greenhouse like that IRL. I grew up on a farm and working in a greenhouse business for a good while. I've got uh, I've got a solid decade and a half of farm experience behind me. Real useful in a city where the best job you can generally get is call center. But, you know, I appreciate gardening. Like I, I always get an itch. I got to grow stuff. I've got a garden shelf in my living room. I've basically covered my balcony in my apartment with plants. I love it. So I can really appreciate this. Whoever built this, you did a good job. I appreciate you. The giant chest monster. Okay, so this Mr. Silly67, I am guessing, is Frog. Is that an accurate guess, or is there more than one giant chest monster going around? Let's see, where am I going next? Ah, yeah, now I know where I'm going next. We're going to check out that pumpkin patch I was talking about before the break. We had a contest. Northeast to see the design contest. Yeah. I'm assuming that's the pumpkin contest one, or is there another design contest we got? I think that, I think we're talking about the same one here. So yeah, we recently had a server contest. There were some cool server prizes, the server money, god apples, a bunch of stuff was up for grabs for the winners. I can't remember what all the prizes were, but we had a few participants. They made room for lots of participants here, which is pretty cool. So I'm just gonna check out these builds. Everybody has put their name on their build, which is cool. So this is Unusual Frog. This individual is i'm gonna not look at that one right now this individual is probably one of if not the best builders on there and that's saying a lot with a bunch of excellent builders like uh the top 10 are all a sliver away from each other let's be real but this is frog's build and entry for that contest you know i don't actually know who won but uh there's definitely some people here who deserve to win so we got the headless horseman going on here. We got a little skeletal horse. We got a ooh, good use of the dripstone. Good use of the uh, stila the spiky boys, and the blue fire. This is actually really cool. And honestly, a solid contender if it didn't win something. Next up, we hop down here, and we and now they weren't all just build a jack o' lantern, but the build had to be jack-o'-lantern themed 
So some people built things with jack-o'-lanterns. Some people built big jack-o'-lanterns. Some people built little ones. It's uh, kind of cool. This one, nice. They put, a, they put a lot of work into the accent of the jack-o'-lantern itself, as well as making a cute jack-o'-lantern. So you got the fire leading up to it, create some ambience. And where's the sign that says who made this? The Tank 83. Good job, the Tank 83. And there's a zombie. Uh, yep. Uh. <laughs> Complete annihilation. And you get money when you kill mobs here. It is not the most efficient way to get money. I would say probably grinding out emeralds is, to be honest, or just selling anything to the admin shop <laughs> of the things they buy, the iron, gold, diamond, and emeralds. They're all great ways to get a ton of money. You get, you get bus money. Oh yeah, I might as well show you this while we're here. But we've got it set so that um, creepers don't actually blow shit up. Which is great because then our landscape is not pockmarked with creeper craters. So people can actually spend time building and enjoying things rather than filling in gaping holes. Now we've got this one. Half skeleton, half pumpkin. This one looks really cool. The ha From Half Noof. Second place winner, Half Noof. Good job on that one. Wait, does that mean Frog didn't win? Uh well, there's a lot of good ones here. Go away. My undead slaying sword hits the undead harder. For obvious reasons. Oop, I didn't mean to open that. So, yeah. I'm going to hop up on my broom and get a nice... Oh, you can go inside it. That's cool. That is, that is actually really cool. I like when you get that extra layer on builds here. So, good job on that, half noof. Then we have... Hot Sense 82! Yo, soy Canuck! That is, <laughs> that is nice. Good title for that. I like what you've done with lava. Great use of lava. I guess I could say I lava what you've done with the place. Ah. That was bad. And we are moving on in no particular order as I kind of wander around. Now we have this fantastic invisible jack-o'-lantern. You can see it's absolutely massive. Or rather, you can't see, I guess. And it is by the Invisible Maker. I just took that guy's pants. So yeah, another great job on here. And then we have... I'm not quite sure what. I'm going to find the sign on this one. It's very good and detailed. They made good use of their space right up to the line. Which I find really amusing. Is this not of a... No, it has a Maker sign. Ooh. So yeah. Oh, Oi Spinal! Yeah, they've built a lot of stuff around the main town as well. This is the third place winner of the contest. Look at that. Look at that. Look at that. This is... This is like... It, um, it'd be a jack-o'-lantern base, really. Like, they've uh, put some work in to make a... Whoop, make a nice, functional build here. I like what they've done with it. Obviously, it's going to tell me I can't... Oh! Okay, I can touch it. Interesting. Right, right, right. Why would you why would you place a claim on a build contest if you're not actually keeping anything good in there, right? Oh, this is cool though. This is a very neat build. It's an actual nice livable functional house that is also a sweet jack-o'-lantern on the outside. Like I can see why they won the prize on this one. And then we have got Penal, and they didn't correct me earlier that I was mispronouncing it, so I'm hoping I'm pronouncing that right. But, uh, ooh, a nice detailed jack-o'-lantern here. Good use of honey blocks as well, I'm seeing. Honeycomb, bit of other stuff. They went all in, doing up the ground real nice and everything. And is that... Okay, can't go in it, but, uh, I'm gonna get a nice broom's eye view of her. What? Probably shouldn't have hit that button. That's not the go down button. Might as well get a good view of this one as well. Look at that. Look at that. You see her lit up from the inside. That's cool. You got chimney and everything. And then this one. This is, again, a really cool looking build. 
I can understand why, especially with the extra layers of detail that went into this one, that this one won. So, good job. Really good job. And then we have, as I just zip around, I don't think this one is an entry. This is Nathan Wolf, the creator of the plugin Magic. So, the broom that I'm flying around on, the magic wand I've been busting out, this person created that. And that is pretty cool. I mean, it's not a contest entry in the thing, per se, but that is still a pretty cool person to have made that stuff for us to enjoy. Yeet. Then we have Emily S. Hurricane, or Emily's Hurricane, which, as soon as it stops being zombie bees all up in here, how did you survive that? All right, I'm going to look at the surface first, and then I'm going to go down that obvious uh, hidey hole. So, we've got Rose Jojo the Pumpkin, as designed and named by Emily's daughter. That is adorable. And I like the pumpkin. Very obviously a pumpkin. Got that nice window in the middle. Got the pumpkin stock going on. Good use of the glow berries. Good use of the vines. I like this. Looks like there's an inside to it as well, which I bet is what those stairs are for. This is a good build. Good job on that. Let me hop downstairs and see if my theory is right. Boop, 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 yep. This is really cool, actually. I like how bright it is when you're inside it. Like, it's all dark and gloomy and pumpkin-y and good Halloween-y when you're on the outside. You get inside, and it's nice and chill and uplifting. I like it. I'm gonna hop back down there. Let's see, where else? I know there's at least one or two that I we haven't looked at yet, including my own my own entry, which I labored over for hours and hours. But I'll come to that later. And then, this is the lava pumpkin from earlier. I'm realizing I didn't get a top view of that. And I see that there's the extra layer of attention to detail. Got some nice orange concrete there to make a mostly seamless border between them, really. It keeps the look going. And then, of course, you get the stock. Let's see. This is almost SpongeBob's house over here, but it's a pumpkin. That is a good use of... <laughs> okay, uh, that's nice. We've got guards on here. Iron golem heads. Ah, uh, this is cool. We've got a graveyard in which we have got... Some people whose names I don't recognize most of them. Ooh. Do I have coins for the ferryman? Nope. I guess I'm walking. So. Oh, it blinks. It blinks. That is so cool. Ah. A <laughs> lot of nice touches on this one. So, I mean, again, they, they rebuilt the whole area. You know, they, uh. They did all the floor. They didn't just leave it on the ground. Which, I mean, nothing wrong with leaving it on the ground because it is a pumpkin and pumpkins grow on the ground. But a uh, lot of nice attention to detail here and the blinking. I don't know how they did that. Is that a new block? Is that a redstone thing? If somebody knows, feel free to let me know in the chat. I'm just going to explore the rest of this a bit. I'm sure that tree is mythologically important given the presence of the ferryman. Probably, is that like you eat the fruit and you forget everything or something like that? I'm a little rusty on some mythologies. And then this guy has worse heartburn than I do. Ah! Oh, that is... How did they do... How did they... How, is that just a thing you can make? Alright, let's, uh, let's do the top view for it. Ah, yeah, and... Few people have made use of beacons as well to get that. How? I'm gonna have to look into how to get those blinking blocks, cause that is cool. I know I know I say that a lot on this server, but that's cause there's a lot of cool stuff on this server. And finally, finally, and I don't know. I think it's politics that I didn't win, but I popped on quick one day, and you know, inspiration struck. 
What is this? Is this a graveyard? This is just a graveyard. Is this part of somebody's build or is this just filler? Oh, Nitro Zeus. Rip. All right, let's uh, let's show everybody my build. You know, saving the best for last. Is that just a rando skeleton horse? Yeah. Yeah. Whoop! Can't take the horse with me. All right. Uh, I don't know why I'm bothering to hide it. You can clearly see. Look. I mean, I got real bad shaky hands, so I think I did a pretty good job carving this bad boy. I even put, I even lit it up. There you go. So yeah, this has been the pumpkin patch. Again, our server ran this as a competition. A lot of people did a really good job on this. So overall, fun. I know the server's got a shipbuilding contest ongoing, so that'll be cool to see. I don't know if that one is concluded, though, so I don't want to go and pop in on people's work when it's halfway done. Unless I accidentally come across it, of course. Now, which way do I want to go next? Now, I know there's a big block of area that I did want to explore that I've kind of looped around from earlier, but I'm also seeing something cool on the live map, and I want to see that. Yeah, they didn't start the contest yet. Okay. Um, that's a Taurus. Uh, wow. I actually saw this one when the build was starting and did not foresee that it was gonna... Oh, wow. Okay, there's that big farm that uh, was mentioned in the chat earlier. Okay. Okay. Can I get up on there? I'm losing a bit of momentum. Hey, hey, hey. Boop. Yeah. Oh, right. There's, there's that. Yeah. Different farm? Well, okay, I guess we have a few farms. I like that. I like the use of the burn. Also, scaffolding is a cool thing. Ah, yeah, of course. Oh, it's a racetrack! It's a racetrack! Oh my god! Oh my god! Oh my god! Oh my god! Right, 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 right! Oh my god! Da 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 da. Do we get to like chuck snowballs and eggs at each other while we're racing around on it? Oh, this is cool. Whoop. Nope, I'm gonna park it. Ah, clever, 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 clever. I like this. I don't know. I don't know who built this then. Oh, actually, I, it literally just told me who built this a minute ago when I went to use this th use the thing because they have claimed this plot. Yeah, Pedro's has done a good job. We oh, psh, wouldn't have even. I wonder if I could survive the whole thing. You know what? I'm gonna try it. I have magic. I can teleport back to the site of my death. I am feeling pretty confident in the quality armor I bought at Jimmy's. No, I'm gonna jump all the way off before I go explore the rest of this, because that, that is actually looking really cool from up here. They are a good builder. Alright. Let's do this. Where's the bottom bottom? I'm pretty sure I can survive this. Oh! Did I... Did I just land on those and negate the fall damage? All right, I'll, I'll play around with that later then. I did not, <laughs> didn't mean to do that. I wanted to see if I would actually take any. Plus you get acrobatics XP for taking fall damage. And then this is the inside of their place. I have nuts, ah, nice, good use. Spider XP farm. Oh. Foods, nice. Uh, let's see what their spider XP farm. Ooh, crop farm. Open the menu to charge it. Nope. Well, I don't even know if I have any suitable fuels here. I was just uh, curious. Axolotls. Although when they're babies, they're just axe a little. Yeah, this feels kind of familiar. Spider XP farm, mine. Well, I know it's yours. 
This, uh, this actually really <laughs> looks familiar. Spider XP. Little bit of a wait. Ah, nice enchanter. Good call. Ah, there they are. I see, I see how that is. But you... Ah, okay, I get it. Spider XP, Spider XP, does whatever regular XP does. Pretty sure I'm going the right way. <laughs> Alright, let's check out the rest of this place. Doing my exploring and adventuring. I think I might uh, see if I can slap the dragon around a little bit later. I mean, I know I can slap the dragon around, but I'll see if it'll even let me spawn it. Because uh, it, we've, we've been beating the tar out of that dragon. Oh, right, that's not an entrance. That's class. Getting stuck there. Which is on me for taking a roundabout way when there's a perfectly... I've already been inside... What? What? That's sus. Hmm. Alright. Maybe it's a permissions thing. Like, I don't have permission to open that door or something. Or it's uh, rigged up that way. Anyway, that's cool. So let's check out this burn. I'll be honest, that's what caught my eye. Aside from the giant Taurus. Okay. He's pretty burny. I like it. I like the look. I love that classic red burn look. And then they have an absolutely massive farm here. And they grow ro nice rows of everything that you can grow, really. Good organization skills, good building skills. Uh, something is misbehaving here. Ah, oh, there we go. That was weird. Alright. Let me see if I can find other cool stuff in this world of coolness. But you know what? I Now that I've seen, shown you folks the, um... Let's see, do I want to see? Are there any cool builds over that way? I'll swing by this one. I, I mean, you can't miss it when you're looking at the map. I don't actually know what it is for other than a bunch of blocked off areas. But, uh, let's have a looky-loo. Don't need you. And I got infinity, so I need those. There we go. This is what I've been seeing on the map. I don't even know what this project is. But, uh, someone likes squares. Which, to be fair, we are playing Minecraft. There's a lot of those in Minecraft. It's all lit up nice. It certainly looks really cool from above. Ooh. Ooh, okay. That guy just likes to expand. You know what? That's, pre that's pretty relatable. I mean, once Farmer's Eggnog is on shelves, once we're hitting that season, I do a bit of expanding myself. This is actually. It, I think. I, I think. Yeah. I think you're right. But the pyramid's nice. This does look cool, though. Like I like the even placement of the lights. Like somebody, whoever did that, measured it out. I'm gonna try to pick up a little more speed here. Yeah. And then when I go back to playing regular Minecraft later, it's gonna be like, oh my god, why is everything so slow? That's the thing, you get used to the good stuff that the mods give you very, very quickly. This looks cool. Okay, I think this is a farm by the looks of it. It looks like a mob grinder, I would say. Yeah, that's that's a mob grinder, all right. Now, I saw that lava mountain earlier, and I kind of want to peek into that. Let's see, 
if I can find where that was. Actually, you know what? First off, there we go. Get my uh, get my juice going. There we go. That's a little more zip. Oh, they curved right through that. That's that's pretty cool. Sometimes you just want to obsessively curve out an area. Again, I can relate. The hyper focus is real. Is this? This is not the lava mountain. Where was that? Probably around here somewhere. See if I can retrace my steps. I should have looked into it. Ah, there it is. Nice. Because it looks like you can go through that. Yeah. Whoop. You sure can. Do I need... <laughs> oh, my timing. All right. So, yeah. Lava. I wonder what's behind the door. But behind the lava. More lava. Okay. That setup looks like it's shrugging. Oh, there was a non-lava entrance. Good to know. Well, I really love what they've done with the place, though. Oh, yeah, and they're growing some iron. They're growing some coal. You know, get dabbling in the slime fun a little bit. Oh, yeah, there's the... Uh, I don't even know if I could take fall damage if I wanted to on this server. Which is not a complaint. I mean, I don't mind not splattering all over the pavement here. Let's see, where else are there some cool builds? Lots of places, but... Uh, I know, I think I've looped through those before. I'm going to do one more, uh, actually, I'm going to save myself a little bit of time here. Yeah. A thousand bucks. I wish I, I wish I had a thousand bucks to come out of my account IRL right now. But, uh, let's see, here we go. All right. Now that I know a bit, where, bit better where I am, I see frogs on. I'm just gonna zip over to. I'm gonna be zipping past the main town because I know there's some stuff down in that area. Never ending story. Whoop! Wrong button. That's the one. Oh, that looks. That actually looks bad. All right, let me just take a look at my map. Incredibly, incredibly convenient, by the way, having a live map of an area before you go exploring it. I think I've probably already been over here. Oh yeah, I have been over there. So I'm gonna hook a hard this way direction. Ooh, okay. This, this isn't the contest area. I think that's just a ship. That somebody built. Oh, we got a balloon. Wonder if it'll tell me who at ah, Tizaro's ship. This is pretty cool. And then we got a uh, a balloon up there as well. Nice hot air balloon that somebody built. Ah, nice touch with the campfire. All right. Now, if you are a regular of this server and you're paying attention to this stream and you know of any cool builds that I haven't come across, I haven't shown off, let me know. I'll be glad to swing by and check them out. Meanwhile, let's see what this is all about. Cool idea for a light tower. Let me get a little bit of an area here. This is sort of adjacent to the main town, which is over that way. Where somebody else has built some cool looking stuff. I think this might be more somebody's home than it is I'm building this to show people. Alright, Tariq's Industrial District. Uh, 129, negative 129, negative 819. Let's go. 
Oh, wait, wait, wait. Negative. Yeah. 819. 129, 819. Let's go. Okay, let's uh let's let's re up that. Nope, nope, I still wanna go yeah, I wanna go this way. Also there's this. Now, is this a Coliseum or is this where people have Pokemon battles? Cause tell me this doesn't look like a Pokemon gym. I mean obviously not an actual branded Pokemon gym, but come on. There's a there's a fire trainer that hangs out here, let's be real. Nope, nope, nope. It's uh, this way. This way. Oh, wait, I can. Let's see. Let's see if I can dial in. Ooh, hello. Well, I'm finding some cool stuff along the way, so. You know, never mind that I'm not the best at quartz. <laughs> this is cool looking, though. I'm gonna take a look inside and then I'm gonna take it. Okay, so she's hollow. I feel like that's fair. This definitely has a way for me to get out. No ender pearls. All right, that that was easier than I thought it was gonna be. To get out of this enormous. Uh, is this a ziggurat? I... Rusty on terms, but that's the one that comes to mind. Oh, hey, and a uh, little saloon-looking place. Washroom. Okay. Jedi Temple. That makes sense. Oh, my God. I think I might be using this toilet wrong because my legs are wet. <laughs> and don't forget to wash your hands, which is... Uh... <laughs> okay, that, 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 that is... That, oh, that's why the crystals. Right, Jedi Temple. That makes a lot of sense. Also, really friggin' cool. And then we have... Not sure what we got here. Kind of obstacle coursey. Is this squid game? Is this a squid game thing? It's kind of looking like a squid game thing. I haven't even seen it, but if you play Minecraft... At any amount, you know everybody's all over that on uh, this and on Roblox. So I feel like this has got to be a Squid Game thing. Good job on it. Ooh. Ooh, okay. Finding some stuff. Not sure if this is where I was going industrial district-wise, but this is exploration. And let's see. I'm just going to... Negative 129, 819. I'm getting close. So I think this might be the area. Yeah, of course they got a portal there to connect them to the rest of the world because this is a little out of the way. I'm just gonna trot around here. <laughs> this, this is this is kind of cool. They got almost like in it's like capsules of stuff, like almost like you got capsulated biomes going on here. That might be a mob grinder. Bees! Bees. Oh, that's so sticky. Nice! Probably. Nope, can't crouch low enough anyway. Probably not supposed to go in there. Oh, wait, there's a door. Ah, Tariq Grumble has built this area. Ah, yeah, then it is Tariq's Industrial District. Nice. Nice, nice, nice. Whoa. Oh, that is cool.
There we go. There we go. I also love geodes. That they added that to the game, and you can just come across them, and they're so soothing and delightfully musical. Another cool thing that they've added to the game that I really appreciate. It's hard to believe. I've been playing Minecraft since the early alpha days, so for me it's hard to believe that this many years later, this game is still ongoing, it's still being developed, it still has a massive following, it's still one of the more popular things for people to stream and make videos of. It's kind of amazing to see how far this has gone. And what else we got around here? We got some villagers just chilling out. Some chillagers. I don't even know what this is. Oh, okay, yeah, a lot of farming going on here by the sounds of things. And, gee, I wonder what this could be. I should have built this under... Okay, so it's in progress. Nice. They should have built that underwater. And then we got this. I don't know if there's any particular point to this, but it looks really cool. And I feel like that is plenty of point enough. Oh, slime fr Oh, they found a slime chunk. Nice. Okay. I'm assuming that's... Oh, yeah. Can't, can't go through that. I won't kill those slimes out of respect for Charlie Slimesicle, who makes excellent YouTube videos, has the kind of sense of humor that just mashes the mashes the laugh button for me. It really just beats the shit out of my funny bone. All right, that is that is actually a clever idea, just to carve a hole into the sea like that. Cows. And, wow, okay. I see a lot of this is, there's some in-progress build going on here. But what they've got looks really good so far. Ooh. Where, do, where does everybody get these mad design skills? Like, all my bases, all my houses, all my builds are, like, rectangles. Minecraft and Rust, uh... Started playing the forest in VR, and guess what shape I built in that one? Yeah. Pretty rectangular. I like this, though. I wonder if a person could just uh, finish a build, and then it auto-generates a sign that says how many hours it took them to make that build. And this is a simpler build. A nice, simple farmer. Let's see what up. Whoa! Hey, we're back here! Right. Yeah, the giant chest monster. Okay, now I know exactly where we are. Ah, uh, this place. Always a cool spot to come across. And. Do these buttons do anything? I do not have permission to press the buttons. That's probably for the best. Oh! Okay, okay, what do we got? What? Alright, good use of the, uh, good use of the bubbles. That's really cool. Okay. Got some redstone guts all up in this thing. Very nice, very nice. I've, I've spent a lot of time already admiring this build, like I mentioned uh, before the break. I spent a lot of time turning that desert into a lush forest, which meant I spent a lot of time looking over this way. We've got, uh, we've got a very angry fellow with his hair on fire. I'd probably be angry too. And we've got Babar. And I, I geeked out a bit the first time I saw Babar, because you, you don't see a lot of Babar stuff these days. Babar with the cranks. Oh, neat. 
Oh, I can press that one. What's happening? Uh, I don't know what I've just done. I'm going to go turn it off. Okay. Again, don't know what that was. Uh, maybe it was just meant for the sound. But uh, still pretty cool. So, I've done a lot of exploring. I know, I know there's more cool secrets on this map. There's definitely lots of spots. I've been looking at the overhead map, and every now and then you see a spot, and you're like, yeah, somebody built here. So I know I have not seen everything here. Gonna do a little change of pace, though, and see if it'll let me respawn the dragon. Just for funsies. Good way to show off this overpowered gear. I'm just gonna pop by home first. Make sure I have a few essentials so I'm not sitting in the nether looking like a fool because I forgot something or other. Let's see, I got my bow. I got my bucket. Not that I, uh, not that I really need a bucket much. I got foods. Torches I don't need, but I do need... I'll take some headstone. Don't really know what else I need here. Yeah, I'll take a stack of them. Don't know if I really need them. Maybe I'll maybe I'll challenge myself and try to not use the broom much. Because I feel like the broom does make the uh oh, no mending on that bow. Room does make things a little bit easier when you're popping all the um, all the things. I know, good term and all, the crystals, yeah. Totem of Undying. Nah, I'm just gonna leave you home. Could have sworn I had a better bow kicking around somewhere. Hmm. Oh well. All right, let's let's go. Minecraft, but we're gonna go beat the dragon up and rob them of their lunch money. Oh, wait, 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 wait. Before I go, before I go, I just remembered. Which one are they in? Yeah! Come, my children. Yes! Excellent. I brought my I bought my axolotls home. So yeah, toss these there for now. Kick a drill. I don't don't think I need gravel slayer. Ant slayer, the master sword. Toss you there like that. Actually, I'll hang on to that in my utility slot for now. I will tell you I don't need that though. I'm just gonna toss some burgers. And now I don't want to double click in my inventory because uh, that'll organize it and then that'll trip me right out. And this person mined a chunk. They spent a while mining a chunk. And I built this so that I could practice water buckets. But, uh, good gear and learning acrobatics kind of negated the need for water buckets to mitigate fall damage. Still good to practice, though. You know, it's a good thing to have for pretty much, like, 90% of all the Minecraft experience. You know, water bucket can save your life in a lot of ways. So, we are gonna zip on over my cool island. I haven't thought of a name for this island yet. I wanted to practice building a realistic-looking island before I eventually build Master Roshi's Island. Because I want to build Master Roshi's Island. Ah, oh, yeah, this is expandy, mick, cool build, light up face. I definitely had their name player. Uh, I'm not great with names. Ooh, okay, a little, little detour, little detour is cool. Gonna check out this. 
Because that's the one thing. Flying around above, you don't always see the underwater builds. Let's just keep going. <laughs> that's pretty cool. I've done something like this, but on a much smaller scale before. You know, go underwater, start building blocks, and then mine into the blocks and build yourself a little bubble. And then line it with glass so it looks cool. Not anywhere near to this scale. Like, I mean, maybe the size of this hallway is what I've done. But this, this, is, this is massive. This is some C-Lab stuff right here. Ooh. Nice. Nice, that's how they that's how they keep their oxygen fresh. And they got corn growing there. Maintenance authorized personnel only. Well, I'm not authorized personnel. Now getting back up here, because I bet I'll crash a lot oh no, there's stairs. Almost tried to fly out through the top. When exploring, found lots of fruit trees. Enjoy. Don't have wizard IRL's permission. Nobody's enjoying it. <laughs> okay, that's their farm. Nice. That missed. To be fair, it's better. It's a better bamboo farm than I can make. Sign. Find my way out of oh, this place. This is definitely not the exit. Let's go this way, I think. Sign. Oh, yeah, it's definitely, uh... The night was skipped, and so the day was saved, thanks to one person getting in a bed. go. This is a pretty cool build. Glad I stumbled across that. Yeah. All right. Let's see if I can regain my, uh, regain my bearings here. Mm. I think it's this way. We'll see what the map. Nope. Not this way. But what is this? Have I been here? I don't think I've been here. Oh, this is a big farm. Got some cool looking, uh, almost ruinsy style stuff. Good use of the sandstone. Nice, nice lighthouse. You see a few of those around here. It's almost like a lot of Atlantic Canadians play Minecraft on this server. Bop. And I like the checkerboard floor. It's uh, clearly meant to be more of a functional house than strictly for show, but it still puts on an excellent show. Nice. Cool, cool, cool. Now let's see if I can orient myself here. Going to town. No, wait, I think I'm in the right... Yeah, I'm in the right way. What's that? That's not clouds... That's not clouds at all. What? What? Good boy. Okay. This is... This has got to be a golem farm. We got villagers. We got zombies. That's basically the main ingredients for a golem farm right there. We got good boys. What is... What am I seeing here? Ooh, solar panels or daylight detectors. Maybe both. So that's somebody who has do who has dived Ah yeah, somebody's dived into the the fun of slime fun. Uh what is That's a block of buttons. Ah, nice, they've got a farm going up on here. This is a nice little bit of a sky base. Cool. We Alright. Now for real, let's try and find my way back to town. 
so that I can pop into the nether. Once again, coming across the lovely statue of her. Ooh. I don't remember if I saw it in the bow shop earlier. I mean, I was obviously right by it. Bows. Last time on Bow Z. Huh. Flame infinity power. Flame mending power punch unbreaking. Mending power punch and breaking. Venetian longbow. Huh. This is kind of cool. Scavenger hunt. Interesting. I wonder if people have already scavenged that all up or if that's still a thing that could be done. Jobs. Oh, bounty. Kill all cats in Spawn Island? I'd feel bad. Plus, that would be a catastrophe. I'm gonna check this out before I go in. This is a fancy... Whoa! Oh, right, it's the parkour! Okay, okay, yeah. There we go. Notice it clears my inventory. Whoop! It clears my inventory, turns off any bonuses, so that way it's a an actual Minecraft parkour. It's randomly generated, so every time you start somewhere different. Uh, I don't know what the high score is on the server currently, but I know it's enormous and probably way higher than ever I could ever land. So I'm not great at parkour. I get to a point where I overthink it. I do like the pop sound, though. Oop. I like that it pops you back down here, so that way, for people who aren't all kitted out, they're not taking fall damage off of trying the parkour challenge. Get a spot in the miner's hall. It will cost two diamonds for rent. And some people just put their shops sort of out and around, which is also cool. Nappy. Nappy. Okay, just rando shops slapped down. But, you know, not a bad way to do it. Let's see. There's some people here that are real good at building castles, as you folks have seen previously. I am going to go and start some trouble with the dragon. Wee! Oh, oh. That would have sucked if I actually took fall damage on here. Gotta remember next time I'm playing... Oh, I did it twice in a row. Gotta remember next time I'm playing unmodded Minecraft, though, to not be so cavalier about falling. Might make for a real short manhunt on the 25th. <laughs> Good news, everybody. The ground collected the bounty. Northern Railway, third stop on the left. End portal. Brought a boat this time. We up. Oh. Yeah, it's, it's all good until you catch on one of the things. We. Oh, oh shh. I wish there was a way to stop right there and then resume, because we all know what people are coming down here for, probably. Yeah, actually, it does link up a lot of the map. Hmm. Yeah, the dragon won't get out here that far anyway. Pretty sure. Oh, plus it's all endstone anyway. Why are you here? All right. Pearls, sword, bucket. Uh, bucket's not super necessary, but... Uh, oh! Multiple bears. I guess this bear's repeating. That's a bad idea for the bears. That's bad news for bears. Uh, 
Guys, I'm sharp. I'm pointy. I'm pointy. You, you, you don't want to. You don't want to bite me. I'm pointy. Okay. Which, what is the positioning for this? Is it here? 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 Yes! <laughs> Alright, bears. I love this. And if you're wondering, I've already gotten the achievement for respawning the dragon. So it's not going to pop anything new today. Yeah, they're going to have a bad time when the, uh, when the dragon spawns. <laughs> what was I going to put in there? I don't know. Maybe that. <laughs> nice. Alright, let's do this. I have basically unlimited. Well, I mean, I have infinity, so I have infinite arrows. Nice! First try! Let's see if I can get the other caged one. I don't even really have to worry if the dragon yeets me. Not the first try on that one. Actually, I don't know if you can get in the hole on this one. I'm sure you can. I think I've seen, like. Wisp and Jagster do it, and Dream do it, so... Obviously, people who are good at Minecraft do it. Who the fuck are you? Let's see... Nine... Two... And... Oh! I did a great job of block clutching that. Eh... Why are there so many zombies? Now I know, I know why there's so many zombies. Someone, someone's having some fun. Good job. Yeah, fly through me. I don't take knockback and I'm I don't take knockback and I'm covered with thorns. Good job. Oh, oh shot that one. Somehow it doesn't have the same tension to it when you're, uh, when you're covered in god armor. Whoop! <laughs> Alright, misjudged that a little bit. Uh, I think I can probably get the rest of them from... I'm gonna say that guy. Alright, two. Oh! Okay, I actually sort of clutched it. Nice. Save me some blocks that way. Did I get acrobatics XP for being exploded on? I don't know what hurt the... Uh. <laughs> okay, so that's a cool looking zombie actually. I freaking love this master sword. You know what? I'm gonna swap it out for Excalibur. I think Excalibur. Which one hits harder, per se? I mean, I know Excalibur messes up the undead. This is... I'll be honest, when you're sitting here covered head to toe in god armor... I'm gonna switch this for the XP cap. It takes a little bit of the, um... Oh! I landed that! Okay. That was a fluke, as you can see. Yeah, yeah, roar. 
Now I'll keep those on because fall damage. Might actually take fall damage for a teenager. Never said I was good at archery. Where did I get that? Okay. <laughs> okay. Why is my inventory full? I don't need those. Don't need those. Don't need... You can't drop items low in PvP combat. Ah, I can't even manage my inventory right now. Okay, now I'm out of it. Good. I'm gonna bear down on him. 22 bucks. That's, oh no, there's a ton of money up there. Ah, nice. Make it rain. I'm gonna switch to my EXP helmet so I can scoop up a teeny little bit of EXP that refighting the dragon gives you. Yeah, woo. Pog, pog and whatnot. So yeah, that's um, that is a good demonstration. Oh, I put the wrong helmet on at the end. I didn't even get the EXP bonus. That's a good demonstration of just the quality of armor you get at Jimmy's. Or at least I got at Jimmy's. I haven't seen the, exactly what I built this off of on sale in that shop in a while. But, uh... Things keep exploding. Which, eh, you know, normal day. Boop. Boop. I'll hang on to that for now, just in case I need to block somewhere. I'm gonna hang on to that for now, too. Oh no! <laughs> See, that, that's why the magic mod is so cool in this. I was actually gonna fly around in the end though. Well, you know what? I might do a little bit of nether exploration. I know there's gotta be, let me take a look at the map here. Gotta be some spots in the nether that uh, this is actually thoroughly ex no 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 there's a few there's a few there's a few spots. Well, we've covered a lot of nether area. I might find uh, you know I might find some bastions that sort of thing. Let's uh, let's hop on the broom. Switch over to my uh, nether map. When we hit 5 o'clock, I'm going to take another break. It's going to be a shorter break. I just got to get some water, so it'll be a hydrate break. I'll disconnect from the server while I'm doing that. I'll mute the music on here. I'll throw up some more of that fantastic pick step. Which, by the way, of course, is the rarest music disc in Minecraft, I believe. I don't know, I don't know if the broken one is also considered rare, that, but... Uh, Pigstaff's pretty rare. You can only find it in Bastion Remnants. And even then, it's only a sometimes loot. But it also slaps. I still really love the work that everybody has put into this, the Nether Hub. Down to the Nether. Soul Speed boots for a quicker tread. I'm good. I must go. The nether needs me. Oh. Jeez, this game is really against me taking fall damage. All right, let me pick a direction here. Let's see. Where am I? There am I. So if I go southwest, should be able to find some stuff. I'll just cruise until I get my bearing. Nope. Once I know which way is southwest. Right low on the broom. Oh, that's a big old. That's a big boy. That's a white boy. And clearly, it linked up with something wrong because people don't want that one burning. Ah, uh, uh, yeah. 
All right, let's see if I can find my way to some unexplored territory. This will be a section of the nether that nobody on this server has been to before. So, will I find something cool? Probably. Now, you'll notice, of course, that the broom... kind of OP here. I mean, there is technically a limit of how long you can fly the broom in a go before you get dizzy and then you fall off. I wonder... Oh, yeah, it's still up. So we've got this fortress. Please don't destroy spawner. That seems fair. Talisman <laughs> reflected the projectile. Right, right, right. Bye! Actually, I don't, I don't even need blaze rods. I've got a chest full of them. Which way was I going? Right, right, right. This way, I think. Somebody taking pot shots at me? Let's, uh, let's see. This uh, fantastic utility, this broom. I think there, there's a maximum amount of minutes you can fly on it, and then it gives you nausea, and then you crash. Although I imagine if I was flying it in VR, it would give me nausea regardless of how many minutes I was flying it. Punch the slime with the uh, broom. Wrong weapon. Yeah, I'm getting pretty close to undiscovered territory here. Looking at my looking at my map. So we will see what kind of interesting, exciting, or <gasps> <laughs> well, I got some acrobatics XP. Hey, buddy. Hmm. Do I press on or do I go back up there? You gotta find a clear space to mount your broom. Good advice. Whoop! That was the wrong button. Dude, could, could you imagine if I hadn't purchased quality armor? And I was going around doing this stuff. Next time I speed run this game, I'm just gonna be like, "Oh, I, t I can take, I can take all the damage," and I'm gonna get ragdolled. Ooh! I mean, that's that's surely been explored, right? I mean, it's right on the edge of explored space on this map. It's gotta have been. Like, I'm sure someone was here. Or I'm gonna check. But yeah, oh, yeah. I mean, it's <laughs> yeah. Someone's been here. Someone's been here. But it's this sort of thing that I'm looking for just for funsies. I want to stick a pig step disc in my uh, in the jukebox at my grinder. the right way. Yeah, I think this is a pretty good way to go. Once again, I hit control when I wanted to go down. Good thing I wasn't over a lava pit, or that would be mildly inconvenient. Alright, we are officially drifting into uncharted territory here. Let's see what this gives us. Oh no, I'm in t charted territory. I'm going the opposite direction of where I want to go. No, no, is it? Come on. How am I? How? Is it? 
Okay, yeah, it's this way. Okay. I'm not good at map. I don't even need to turn on the Giga Drill mode for this. Ah, I knew there'd eventually be an opening. Hmm. All right, well, I am just going to check my Y. Y50 is not bad. Nope. I don't even need this much netherrack. Here we go, here we go, here we go. <laughs> oh my god. It reflected the projectile off of me into the other skeleton, and now he's mad. I'm just on the edge of uncharted territory here. Just trying to find my way through to a pocket of the good good. Oh, no. Is it this way? I wish I had a compass that was like an actual compass. Like, tell tell me which way north was. Like, I don't need to know where home is. I can slash home. But, uh, knowing which way is north would be really handy in me navigating this map. But, yeah, gold. I need, I need lots of gold. Actually, you know what? I will take the gold. Better than netherrack. How am I still not in uncharted territory here? Maybe this is why it's uncharted. Ah, here we go. Now, now I'm getting into the groove. Now I'm getting into the groove. Yeah! Adventure! Alright, let's get... Let's get some distance. Let's see if I can find something cool. What is that? Well, wellity, wellity, wellity. This looks like an unexplored bastion. Oh. I should probably not click on that while I've got that out. Eh. I don't really need spider eye torches. I hear Willy hears ya. Willy doesn't care. Oh, there's gold blocks up here. I mean, actually... Oh, these guys actually still hit hard. Color me impressed. Oh. Whoa, okay. Okay. I'm in danger. Man, the brutes are badass. Okay, okay. Don't need you. Don't need you. Ah, one of you is enough. Actually, I'm gonna get all these gold blocks anyway. Probably don't need. Whoop! Whoop! Whoops! <laughs> Yeah, yeah. Snort at me. Whatever. <laughs> yeah, gold blocks. Those are actually still useful for stuff. 
even uh, late game and not not just hmm, not just if I want to mass produce like golden apples or anything like that ooh there we go there's the gold block city and I don't no, I don't have memorized where the treasure chests are in this style of Bastion. Yeah, I'd be mad. But I... Haha! <laughs> I'll grab that. Actually, I got some stuff here that I don't need out. So I am just going to switch up to my utility pouch here. Boat. I'll uh, hang on to that. Two, some piglin heads. Pull up her head. God apple. Magma cream. I'll keep that out. Uh, weird spoon. Gravel. Efficiency fortune. Bending and breaking. Efficiency bending and... Huh. Why did I keep gravel slayer? I'll toss you in there as well for now. There we go. I don't need gentle pick. I'm not uh, silk touching anything here. That's a little bit better. I don't want. Uh, I'll take the. Uh, I'll take that. Oh, I found one chest. Let's see if there's any others up here. <laughs> oh, those fellas are angry fellas. Sorry, fellas, I gotta do a, uh, I need to do a murder here. What? Oh, he just. Did that. I don't want to talk about how I just missed that. How did these boys sound angry? Yeah, that uh, projectile reflection talisman is actually... I didn't realize just how good it is. It doesn't just reflect the talisman, it redirects it at an enemy. Which honestly is hilarious, because then they shoot each other and get mad at each other. Not even going to break that spawner. Somebody might want to farm slimes here. And they're not really a threat to me now. That fella there on the bridge. Bit of a threat. Separate him out. Yeah, be mad. I can see me walking out here to fight him and somebody kicks me off the bridge. Ha ha ha! I am. Where's that? Is that a chest over there? I think that's a chest over there. I'm sure somebody's screaming internally, like, oh my god, you're missing this chest in this chest. This is not optimal. But uh, I haven't learned them yet. Working on it. And I don't even know you, but I bet you're a jerk. Oh, yeah, it's a random... Yeah, like I was talking earlier about the uh, EXP looting mod that gives you random named stuff. Like, this pumpkin pie is patriotic souvenir of itemization. Uh, Yashimita's treasure. Right, I'm taking Yashimita's treasure. Diamond pickaxe. Uh, I'll take that, too. And I actually love pumpkin pie. Mmm, that's good patriotic souvenir. Alright, alright, alright. Here we go. I don't even, actually, I'll take the eyes. 
refill. Top me up a little. I'm thinking, though, I should probably actually practice those block clutches that I was missing earlier. But they come real handy in uh, normal playthroughs, speedruns, manhunts, that sort of thing. Oh, yeah, I said I was going to take a break at 5, didn't I? I am realizing that I really do need to take a break right now. So I am going to take a hydrate break. It's just going to be a quick one, like maybe five minutes tops. Still going to throw a screen up. Still going to throw the um, throw the screen, the music on for you to continue to enjoy pick step. I do. So bear with me here for a moment. Options, music and sounds. I'm going to turn that up later. I actually like the music in Minecraft. So I'm going to throw this to the hydrate break screen. And we are going to pig up where we left off on this uh, one hour long pig strap track that I got.
Hey everybody, we are back. Had a little bit of a stretch. Get some water in, water out, you know how it goes. Gonna throw me back over to the stream. Pop back into the server for my last little bit of exploration on my favorite server. I don't know why I kept refreshing that. Obviously it's already loaded. But I'm going to keep this going for another, uh, what, 47 minutes? Yeah, I'm going till 6 o'clock. And then I am going to all that kind of stuff. I'll be back again on Wednesday, though. Same start time, 2 o'clock. This will be single player this time rather than my favorite multiplayer server as I continue just doing playthroughs of the game. So that'll be sort of a speed run ish Like, I'm not timing it, but I'm playing the game fast. So if that's a speed run or if that's not a speed run, that'll be up to other folks to decide. I'm going to just play the game fast, though. Whoop. Nope, nope, not not sinking in, not sinking in. I think here was where I, oh, I probably got stuck under one of these blocks, actually. But last time I had to abandon exploration in the nether was because I got a little stuck in the lava under this, and it was going to get to the point where I would actually run out of health. Now, this guy's taking hot shots at me. What a jerk. Yeah. How do you like it? Oh wait, you're dead. Uh, brittle ruin, epic candle. I'll take that. Yeah, yeah, I'll take that. I'll take. Hmm. I'll leave these here for some. No, no, they're gonna. Yeah, I'll leave those there for someone else to find. I was gonna bring them back and put them in the free stuff section at the town, but I want to leave something for somebody else who might explore this place. Although I'm wondering if, once they've seen that I've gone to town here, they won't check the treasure because they'll assume it, it's all looted. Am I overthinking it? I might be overthinking it. Yeah! Pickaxe to the brain. Alright. Alright, Magma Mama. That's right. That's right. <laughs> it just killed himself killed itself on my thorns. How does mag how do magmas live in lava and then magma cream burns in lava? Like it comes out of them. Right. That's pretty good. That's a pretty good I know I've missed some stuff in this bastion. Whoop. Well that's a problem. Now I can fix this. I can fix this. Yeah, there we go. <laughs> Just almost stepped in the other one. Alright. There we go. Broom. That's weird. Is that how that's designed? Well, let's see if I can just get a way to ascend. Just looking around, see if there's any other uh, obvious chests. Feel free to shout at me in chat if I miss anything that you see. But, oh, whoop. Don't go into the ceiling. All right, so yeah, new ground on an unexplored bastion. Which, I mean, we're pretty, you know, I don't think this is gonna spit me out anywhere that I want it to. Actually, yeah, it will. Yeah. Let's see what else I can find in this new stretch of the nether. Bastion. Let's see if I can get back to where I was and go further southwest. Which way? Okay, that is north then. And that is southwest. Dun, 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 dun. Oh yeah, I should uh, turn the Minecraft music up. That is the wrong section. I'll throw it at 80. It seems good. Alright, what else are we going to find in this nether adventure? It's real purple over there. 
Is that just how she does? That might just be how she does. Ah, yeah, that's just that's just uh, that's just sky effect. I was like, is that an absolutely enormous portal? But, uh, clearly no. All right, let's resume the adventure. Everybody loves the blue biomes. They are a great way to get ender pearls if you're not farming uh, piglin trades. Especially if you've got looting on something. Nice, see that? Fresh lava. Nobody's been here. It's all me. And uh, that didn't pan out. That didn't pan out very well. All right. See what's my Y level? 54. That's still pretty good. Who would have thought that I'd find lava in the nether, though? Unexpected. Interesting, though. It looks like somebody flew around the whole border of the nether, but there's a lot of in-between spots that haven't been filled in yet on the map. See if I can find anything else. Ah, there's an un unexplored fortress. Yeah, I don't really need a lot out of the fortress, but uh, I'll take a look. I'll take a look around. I mean, nobody's been here before. What if there's something really cool in a chest? Something as cool as the Brittle Ruin? Who knows? Get out of my inventory. Keep you, keep you, keep you. And I don't need you. That's good. What do we got over here? Probably, yeah, that's a spawner. That's a twofer. I don't actually need blaze rods. It's just, it's just habit, you know? You, you're you in a fortress, it's like you gotta grind out the blaze rods, right? Yeah, there we go. There's a downstairs. Let's see the meat of this bad boy. What's in the box? Nero? Uh, <laughs> Unimaginable hall! Oh. Diamond horse arm. A. Ooh, two diamonds. And an attendant heirloom of commitment. Okay, okay. I'm gonna take Niora. Nioria. Ah, oh, yeah. I'm gonna eat Nioria. Hmm. I wish you could double click and sort this one. Shorts of assistance. That's why I didn't chuck those. That makes sense. All right, so gold blocks, gold bars, magma cream, diamonds. Oop, throw that in there, throw that in there. Inventory space starting to become a concern. I don't think I need this. Yet yeah, next time I get hungry, I am eating me a nice bowl of Nyoria. That wasn't a very meaty meat of this, uh, of this fortress, though. I went down. Let's see what else we got here. There's gotta be something cool, right? Have I... Have I been here? No, I haven't been here. Yeet.
Not sure that that little hop was worth an acrobatics roll, but uh, okay. All right, which direction am I going here? Okay, okay, so that way should be what I'm looking for. If I want to continue my s southwestward journey. I like the music of the nether. It really builds some good tension. I've already long ago received all exploration related uh, achievements here, so there's not exactly anything new for me. That's a square boy. That's a square boy. Ah, I wonder if anybody's been here. I think somebody built it. Did somebody build this big square? Nah. Okay. Okay. Interesting. Ha! -ha! That's what you get. That's what you get. Right. Right between the eyes. Actually, do I want that tear? Where'd that go? Seriously? I might be bad at this. Come on, come on, come on. Got him! Well, that one dropped a tear. Ah, I bet that's where that other tear went. The only tears now are mine. Huh. So there's a portal on this. Which would tell me somebody's been here. But... There's clearly loot and brute. So... <laughs> get wrecked. Alright, I got, I got punch on that. Oh, he dropped a money. Boom. This is... I'm gonna pop out that portal in a moment after I grab these gold blocks. Because I want the gold. I want the shiny ones. I want to build a city of gold. Take. Oh yeah, it's this style. Right, right, right. Ha <laughs> ha But that over there feels like more than the average amount of Bastion. Is that just how this one is? Oh, there was a network error. Oh, oh no! Uh, my stream's not working. Give me a moment. What do you mean, unavailable? Alright. Clicked it. Come on. Okay, I got it back. Yes, uh, I don't know if it cut out for folks in the chat, but I've got my stream open in a separate window and it showed me a network error and then told me the stream was unavailable for a bit. So hopefully, I don't know, the numbers are down. Oh, people are back in now. Okay, that's not too bad then. All right, I was going to check out that portal. Here's a weird question. Is this where I died? Like, I was way out, and out of uh, the explored territory, and I did at one point build a portal to see what the outside was. But, I mean, what are the odds? I'm gonna pop in here anyway. Just to see. Oh, okay. Somebody finished a. Uh, somebody finished one of the ruin portals. That's cool to know. Whereabouts does that poke me out on the on the uh, on the world map anyway? I mean, it's got to be way, way, way south. Oh yeah, it's way southwest. That is a spot I have it. Huh. 
Interesting, okay. Okay. Well, I'm just gonna pop into this village here. It's a nice looking village. I don't think there's anything here that I want or need at this stage of the game. Just want to poke around a little. This does feel vaguely familiar, though. Hmm. Interesting. Can't quite jump high enough. Gotcha. All right, let's go back in. Let's pop back into the shit. Also, apologies if you are a child or parent of a child who did not want to hear me say that. I'm still working on if I want to officially be a PG friendly streamer or if I I'm just going to let the casual cusses slip through. There's very few PG-friendly Minecraft streamers. Oh, boy. All right. Yeah. <laughs> I almost took damage there. <laughs> what a thing to say. Like, now, now I'm just sounding cocky. And last time I got cocky... I was exploring a cool bastion and fell in lava and couldn't find my way out so I had to teleport home. So uh, I'm sure there were cool treasures in that cool bastion. Let's uh, see if I can... Alright. Alright. Alright, pig boys, let's party. <laughs> These guys are strong. Like, these guys hit like a truck. I got, I've got every flavor of prot going. Do I even own a shield? What do we got here? Soul speed. <laughs> There's <laughs> a single piece of dried kelp with a, a random loot generated name. I'm gonna when did I get the plum sapling? I'm gonna I'm gonna take and eat the piece of kelp next time I get hungry. So because I've been making a habit of uh, taking and eating these when I find them. Ooh, golden apple. Iron block. Hmm. Now I'll leave the iron block if someone else wants it. Yeah, I don't need it. Hello, hello. Ooh, there's a few of them up in here. That's how you know I'd make a bad speedrunner. I don't know where all the gold is in these guys. And that's kind of crucial. Well, it's crucial if you come across it. Obviously, you can do a pretty good run without finding a bastion. But, uh generally helps if you can survive to get to the gold that gold uh, that gold comes in handy you steal the gold from the piglins and then you trade it back to them that's the circle of life that's the law of the jungle and now we're getting that nice uh, that nice ambience nether music as I continue to explore unexplored territory on my favorite Minecraft server. Not a lot of people on right now, but, uh, I mean, it is pretty dark out. So it's got to be... Oh, it's 5.30. Not a fan of it being this dark out at 5.30, not gonna lie. You know, I don't think I'm in the Bastion anymore. Prove me wrong. Okay. Go back up then. Let's go back in. This is this is the atmospheric music that just 
really heightens the tone of the nether. It's bits like this. Like, they, like I, I love this game. I've been obsessively playing this game a lot lately. But I've also been playing Minecraft since the alpha days. So I own it forever. Yeah, that was that was the promise when you bought it. Was if you buy this, you get every version. Um, that hasn't been entirely honored since Microsoft took over because I didn't get the Bedrock version. They want me to pay them money for that, but uh, I guess I guess I still get this, so this ain't bad. In fact, I think personally I like this better. I've played Bedrock on other people. It's it's feels different. Oh yeah, right. That's what you get when you click while you're you click your broom while you're in your inventory. It's like, oh, I'm playing. All right, now we are in here. I don't even don't even need that. I'm uh, not gonna pronounce that, but I looted it here. Oh, hello, hello. Yes. Yeah! Pick step! Beauty. I'll leave you. I don't need the iron. Bum, 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 bum. Ah, wonder what happens if I... F <laughs> Get wrecked. Oh, it's a skeleton. That's right. I know there's a few other chests around this one. I know there's I know there's the big one at the bottom. Did he just fall? Oh, hello. Hello all the pigs in the This will this will be the point where somebody comes up behind me and knocks me into the hole. That was a crit. That was a crit for the ages. He just dropped 20 feet on a guy. It's kind of nice in a way that the brutes are still challenging. Because, I mean, I'm kitted out in some pretty overpowered gear. So, not necessarily cakewalking the place is kind of fun. Like, these guys could actually kill me if I get caught in a bad spot. Since you... Whoop! Like that. Oh boy. Oh boy. Yeah. Although, Fireprot says this isn't too big a deal. I wonder if I can land on one of these. Whoop. Nope. <laughs> I wish you could swim in lava like you can in water. And just take the damage. We got what? Go away. I mean, I'm not gonna collect every single random loot item that comes along just because my inventory would be overflowing with it. Take you, diamond helmet, diamond chest plate. Nope. That's not a sickle. Game. I'm kind of tempted to plant that, though. Not gonna lie. Yeah, I'm gonna take you back and plant you. I think this is probably the last bastion I will be exploring this stream. We'll see how she goes. I mean, I can't imagine finding another one with the less than a half hour that I got left, but you never know. Get off my back! Ah, poop. Hey. I am very thankful for fire prot. Oh yeah, if I don't have food, the master sword also doesn't work. Or if I'm hungry. 
Thankfully not if I'm hungry in real life. Just if I'm hungry in game. I <laughs> just killed them with my pick. Yeah, give me that gold. Uh, yeah, I don't think there's anything else. I mean, I'm kind of tempted to take the iron blocks, but I don't actually need them, so I'll leave them for whoever else comes across here. If you are just tuning in, or if you're following for a while, just to recap, I am exploring the nether on my favorite Minecraft server. Earlier on in the day, I ran around, looked at a lot of the cool builds that are on this server, and then I went to the end, fought the dragon again for funsies. It was not a very challenging fight, even after I took most of my armor off, just because, I mean, this, this, this armor is ridiculous. But, uh, now I'm exploring unexplored parts of the nether. Nobody on the server has been in this area before. Ooh, hello. Uh-oh. Ooh, golden carrot. Ooh, okay. I got another disc. It's, it's not pig step, but, uh, no. Can't hold that against it. I'm gonna need a moment to, uh, rejigger my inventory, though. Do I have any spots left? Yeah, there we go. Get out of here, or I'm gonna beat you with a burger. Where did I put my burger? Where did I put my burger? Oh, there it is. And I'll chuck the brittle ruin in there. Now I'll tuck the gas tier. That's a good one for the gas tier. I want to keep my treasures. Welcome to Beats Burger. I'm going to beat you with this burger. Yeah, boys. All right, now. I want that. Yeah, I want that. Spoils of Rent. Well, I'm taking that because I'm going to go plant it. Uh, not certain I need magma cream anymore. Magma cream sounds like it should be delicious. Oh, wait. wait okay. So that's that chest. Is there a... Uh, I think I might have already looted it earlier. Is there a counterpart chest over here? feel like there is. Hop. Hop. Oh, yeah. Come on. I'm not really taking damage in a hurry, but the screen effect is, uh... I do not like the screen effect. Oh, sorry, buddy. Sorry, buddy. I am so sorry. Eh. Yo, here we go. You know, I think I've gotten pretty much everything I want out of here. I know I've probably missed a chest or two. I always miss a chest or two. I don't know the layouts of these that well, but... Yeah. Give me give me head out of the ceiling there. Well, that would have been a great jump crit if I hadn't uh borked the jump. And I just take a little walk around here, I think. I think though I've cleared it more or less. So on Wednesday I'm gonna be streaming Minecraft. Only in this case, it's going to be vanilla Minecraft, it's going to be single player, it's going to be me doing uh, sort of casual speed runs. In that, I won't be keeping track of the time, and unless things go really wrong, I won't be resetting the run. So it's more just me playing Minecraft really fast. Uh, modestly fast. I mean, I can't exactly get in that... I haven't been able to do sub an hour yet. But, uh, 
you know, I still think that's pretty good for a game this size. It's just uh, those people that are getting the real good times, they're just good. Like, they've put in the hours to practice. They've uh, learned the tricks. They're skilled. they got good rigs. Like, they've, they've put in a lot to get to that point. And I don't even know sometimes if I have the focus to get that far. Or if I want to, because, I mean, it's a heck of a competitive area to be in. That said, I do like playing the game fast for funsies. I'll take you. <sighs> Actually, I don't have that. I always leave some goodies, though, for someone else. If anybody else comes along, doesn't immediately see... Oh, it's been raided already, and leave based on... Uh, Based on seeing that I've gotten the gold blocks. Aside from hidden gold blocks. These things always have hidden gold blocks. Broom quiets down. Now, how do I get out of here? Oh. Hey, you want that smoke, huh? Hey. Not even keeping your bones. I got three magma cube heads. I mean, that's weird. That's weird, right? Hey, right, let's see where I am. See if I can go somewhere new before the end of this stream. I mean, there's lots of unexplored area here. So I'm just gonna slowly drift in a direction and make sure that that's the one my map shows as the right direction. Yep, that's where I want to go. Perfect. Magic broom, fly me all around. Yeah, some of the some of the stuff we get on this server is a little bit OP. I will uh, settle for being told, no, you're using OP stuff, though, just to be able to keep this broom. The utility of it is amazing. Like, I want just this mod in my regular Minecraft quality of life. Alright, let's see what we got around here. Yeah. I'm getting a little low, getting a little low here. Yeah. I don't think, I think that only goes that far. Let's see if there's anything else. Because I'm in a big chunk of unexplored area, so it's still just a blank spot on the online map. Which is how I was able to snag that pig step. And a legendary tree. Doesn't actually do anything different, it's just a mod that gives random rpg names to some loot. It makes things a little more fun, makes looting stuff a little more interesting. But sometimes you get a legendary tree. Sometimes you eat a, bo a named bowl of beet soup that was rare. Rare quotation marks because it's beetroot soup. I don't need you, don't need you, don't need you. Keep forgetting that that gets me on the broom when I do that. Ah, there's a... That's been explored. I'm actually hitting the border now. Somebody... That's been... That's got to have been explored. I mean, I'm going to check it out, but I think somebody's been here. Okay, okay. Sounds piggy in here. Alright. No, no! Okay! Excellent. Excellent, okay. I did find another one before the end of the stream. See, there, there's a token of reevaluation. It's literally just random rarities, random names. If it's an item that has stats and can have enchantments, it gets good stuff on it. But a lot of times you get vines and stuff like that that have the thing on them. So, uh, I'm just gonna rearrange my inventory a little bit. Pop open my utilities box. Is there anything else I can fit in here? Oh, I don't need that sword, though. 
I'm gonna need to do some serious inventory sorting when I get back to base. Wait, is that blaze powder? Yeah. Well, you know what? I don't need this to stick around. Boop. Boop. There, that way it's a little safer. I'm just gonna toss my... Oh, wait, 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 wait. I'm gonna toss my torch in here. Toss this semi-broken sword in here and those sticks. That way, I'm leaving a treat for somebody else. Lovely treat of some sticks. I mean... Ah. Did I... I, uh, ah! <laughs> All right. Ah, so this is a big old unexplored bastion that's on the edge of explored space, so I figured somebody got it. I might find another pig step in here. I'm sure I can uh, find somebody to give that to on this fantastic server. Because I only need one... <laughs> Huh. Good thing I got him with the uh, sword beam, because I ate that last shot. I don't know. I don't know this bastion. Oh, hello. I'm oh, doing okay for not knowing this bastion. What? I mean, when you see. What is this? I'm gonna eat the beet because I've been eating every rare named food that I find. And I'm gonna plant the flower because I intend to plant every rare named plant that I find. I mean, they, they have no stats whatsoever that makes them more special than the other ones. Just a fun name. <laughs> and a color. That's literally the same chest. see that looks like the meat of it this is a weird I should spend some time learning the different bastion types in their layout Ooh, okay also seems to be running a bit better today last time I streamed Minecraft uh, things get a little choppy but uh, also get a little bit of an out what mm -hmm. Oh my god, it's got splash. I'm gonna have to eat that fish. I'm gonna have to eat that potato. Stop giving me stop giving me rare food game. I I gotta eat it all, that's the rule. I'm not taking that because it's just netherite scrap and I'm good on netherite. Alright, do I have no space whatsoever? Inventory is getting kinda lean here. All right, all right, let's, uh, what else do I want out of here, realistically? <laughs> <laughs> Booty of violation, what? <laughs> all right. I'll take the booty of violation. <laughs> I'm not taking the intactable runes, though. That's a, that's a raw rabbit. I'm not going to eat a raw rabbit just to keep the thing going. I'm taking you, because... Actually, an axe with splash. I could probably trick that out to be my new main. So that's a good find. Uh, I, gotta, I, gotta, I gotta eat that booty of violation, though. That's how she goes. I need to be hungry. Mm-hmm. Pick a fight with somebody here. I hear some snortings going on. Is this a? Uh, I think I've I think I've already done that one. Yeah, yeah, I came around that in the first place. Is there an inside to this? There's there's got to be an inside, right? Do I hear? It? Oh, there you are. Did I just kill this guy with my pickaxe? Not doing bad damage, actually. Alright. So I gotta take some damage to eat the booty. <laughs> I actually, I think I might take that one home with me and show that off. So I'm just gonna eat the exotic laurel. Oh, I should probably kill you. And then I'm gonna eat the spoiler shrieking. 
Then I'm going to eat the frankest mm -hmm. evidence of lairs when my uh, when my hunger comes back, and I'm going to eat the bi-monthly acquisition of creativity, legendary beat. Wow! All right. I think I, I think I've already gotten that one. Oh, no, I think yeah. Take you. Yeah, it's getting real atmospheric in here. My other guy. I'm pretty sure yeah, I had him for that. Ooh, hello, hello. And this goes nowhere. Alright, time to eat the frankest evidence of lairs. And then I'm gonna eat that bi monthly acquisition of creativity. I will. You know what? Screw it. I'm gonna eat the booty of violation. Like it was groceries. Somebody clip that. <laughs> I hate gas. Like, I can deal with pretty much everything else in this game. Gas. Really? Hey. <laughs> This is quite the thing. I might not actually finish this Bastion on this stream, since I got five minutes of stream left. And that pig wants smoke. Yeah. Yeah, that's what you get. That's what you get for just being a jerk. I wouldn't take a swing at you if you weren't taking a swing at me, piggy. I should really throw some gold on. I feel bad about the piglins. They're, they're good dudes. And dudettes, probably. They might be neutral, actually. I mean, everything in Minecraft might be neutral. Okay. I think that was a break even. Ooh, hello, hello. What have we here? Golden carrots. Nice, nice, nice. Keep me going. Crimson fungus. I gotta eat it. I gotta eat the inviolate loot of Torno ha what? Torno Hanukasan. That's the only time I'm gonna try to pronounce that. So if you want me to say it again while I'm eating it, I'm not gonna say it again while I'm eating it. But I am gonna fight this guy which will get me the hunger I need. Golden apple. Artifact of Bannock. I've already got a combat, I've already got an epic flower, so I'll leave you for someone else to enjoy. And somebody might be hurting for food by the time they get here, so I'll leave that as well. Food and leather. They, they, can, they can eat the leather. I mean, people boil, used to boil their shoe leather in hard times. So there's got to be something in it that... Ah, I wish my speed boost was... There we go. That one looks kind of already looted. treasures around in this one, though, than the last uh, type of bastion. Plus, there's the... There's the good kid. I'm here for... Oh, I haven't been hungry in a while. I guess eating the... <laughs> eating, that, eating that booty filled me up. I guess I can't pretend to be a safer work streamer, though. Oh my god, here we go. Working my way down, conquering this fortress. Uh, I might. 
I might find a nice safe spot to hunker down in and end the stream, and I will resume exploring this on a future stream because I love this server. It's it's a great server. It's a wholesome server, and you don't see that. Uh, sometimes you see that. You get in the right community. All right, eating that one. Huh? You want some? Huh? Huh? Yeah. Technically, oh. Okay. I think technically my uh, thorns did the work for me there. Got that gold. Now, does this one go lower or is this the bottom floor? Hey, there's a treasure. Crimson Nilium. Ooh, okay. Okay. I was briefly like, ooh, that's good. I can grow mushrooms with that. But then I was like, wait, I don't want to grow mushrooms. I actually think I've successfully mo more or less cleared this one. Okay. Well, that's going to be a good time. I'm not going to waste. Nah, I got so much food. This is going to be a good time to end stream today, actually. Thank you, folks, for tuning in today. Next stream is going to be Wednesday, starting at 2 p.m. Atlantic Standard Time. That's 6 p.m. Uh, UST. Yeah, 6 p.m. Un... Blah. I, I swear I know time zones. But it's, uh... So it's, uh... 2 p.m. EST, 1 p.m. AST. Google converts time zones for you, which is good, because my brain don't. So I am going to be doing casual speed running, essentially, Minecraft playthroughs on Wednesday. And then on Friday, following Leo's stream, Level Up Leo, highly recommend you tune in to Level Up Leo. He is going to be streaming until about 4, 4.30ish, depending on how things go. I want to watch his stream because I enjoy his streams. So after his stream, I'm going to be streaming for a couple of hours. That's going to be Minecraft butt. So I'm going to throw some mods in there. Minecraft butt mobs are OP. Minecraft butt milking is OP. I've got a few really good plugins that I got from Wisp and Jagster, who are my favorite Minecraft YouTubers. And I can't wait to play around with them a bit and see how far I can go against OP mobs. Thank you again, folks, for tuning in, though, and hopefully see you again next time. And stop button.